December 21st, 2022, Brookline uh, regular select board meeting to order. The time is 6.40 p.m. We have present in the room, Alex, the videographer, Mark Bills, the road supervisor, Stan Noga, Bruce Mello, and Don Maggio, select board members here in Brookline. Changes to the uh, agenda. Who's the videographer? Alex. Hi. Alex, what's your last name? Stradley. Recording Stradley. in progress. Stradley? Uh, Stradley. That's T R A D L I N G. That's T R A D. Stradling. S T R A D L I N G. Yeah. Okay. Got that, Peter? Glad you did. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. All right. Hey, thank you. Um, as far as changes to the agenda, um, I could float things around, or do you want to go straight through? I think other than adding little ditties about, I think the order is fine. Uh, we need to bring up the water test on Merrill Drive that you left with me in the last meeting before. Oh, okay. So we were going to say whether that's acceptable or not. Okay. To update the health. Uh, and I noticed from my kitchen window that the light in front of the meeting house is on from any time when it gets dark, I've gone to bed at 10.30 and it's been on. I got up at 5.30 and it's on. So I don't know if there's a timer. That needs they to have a set, timer on. But it's apparently either, right, it's, right. it's either the valid time is minimum. Just, minute, just take a 10 minute, just contact them okay. when that's happening. All right, so um, the changes are in old business, um, health order, yeah. health department, and under new business would be a uh, timer on the Brad uh, Brooklyn meeting. A A P. Okay. All right. Uh, review and approve minutes from December seventh, twenty twenty two meeting. Did everybody get a copy of the yes. came in today? I yes. Read it. Okay. I read it. Trying to. There's only one thing that I saw, I saw that needed to be added to. All right. Are there any changes or edits to the draft minutes of page one of four from December 7th? Did not see it. Any, any changes on page two of four? Any changes on page three of four? Any, any changes yeah, either. Neither did I. Okay. Uh, I on page four of four, I wanted to change or add. Minutes from November 2nd, Ms. Madger moved to approve the minutes from November 2nd. It was seconded by Stan Noga. And the second set of minutes uh, from November 16th, they were seconded by Bruce Mello. Good catch. Okay. Um, no other changes? Hearing none, I'd like to make a motion that we I'm sorry. Did you say those dates again? I have November 18th and December 2nd, and then December 6th. Am I on the right file here? We are doing the minutes from December 7th, 2022, yeah. and on page four, under review and approved minutes from November 2nd, the person who seconded those minutes was Stan Nova. Oh, hold on a second. Um, this has three minutes to approve it. I think I may have the wrong file here. Same. It is. It is December second. They we did. Uh, well, that's the pay orders. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. The minutes. The minutes from November second was seconded by Stan Noga. All in favor. And the minutes yes. from November sixteenth. Was yes, seconded we did that by, we did that by email. I was just looking at the pay orders instead for fun. Sorry. Oh, all right. Okay. Uh, so I'd like to make a motion that we approve the minutes as amended from December 7th, 2022. May I have a second? Second. Seconded by Mr. Noga. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of approving the minutes as amended signify by saying aye. 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 Thank you. Okay. Um, there are no members of the public scheduled or unscheduled at this time, so we'll move into the budget review. <clears throat> Areas of the general budget 
Um, if you were able to get a copy, if not, I can make a copy for you of the updated things from oh, Melissa. I got the highlight. But the came to, they came today. Yeah, I was like all over the place. Do today. you want me to make a copy? Oh, uh, let me see what I'm having. I'm sorry. I haven't made something. That's what I have. I have all our old. Let numbers. me see the first page of what you have. That's what I got. I you, that's all you have is the highway. So I'm going to make a copy of the whole book. Oh, that'd be great. My, my, my scratchy. How's it, how's it working for you, Stan? Oh, uh, yeah, it's a little like the one I had. <laughs> it's working not too bad. You prepared for the storm? For rain? I don't know. It's going to turn to no, no, 65, 85 mile an hour winds. They didn't say around here. No. Okay. Well, I said, I said, oh, yeah. that's garbage. Oh, okay. Um, All right, here you go. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna go Thank through. You. You're very well. I'm gonna go through this as quickly as efficiently as we can. Question: Did she send this through too? Probably today at yeah. like three, two, three, two, and three. I think. Yes, that's right. why I wanted to make a copy for okay. it. Uh, the last column here is what we're looking at. You don't get the color on it. Okay, mm -hmm. under the first part, town operating revenues. I asked her to move over into the fiscal year 24 budget, yeah. the same items pretty much that were in uh, the current 23 budget. There was a, uh, one of the items was the current use, which is estimated to be at 10,000, which is less than what was that, uh, budgeted for in 2023. The current and delinquent taxes will be determined at a later time. And we don't know enough about interest and refunds to think of them as revenues. Mm -hmm. So, so at this point, that number nineteen thousand four hundred twenty-four dollars is the most accurate number we have here, without counting any taxes being collected. Okay. We don't know what the taxes are going to be. You're looking at operating operating revenues. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Oh, yes. uh, you know, I so, read the email. I'm, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, good. Dan? Yeah. It, it does. Uh, does, uh, apparently, but it's blank, so maybe my answer, the answer the one I'm about to say is already here, but uh, there are no delinquent tax payments that are going to be coming in uh, in 2024 that Melissa is aware of. She's left it blank, and I was looking at the email, and I didn't see any reference to it, so I guess I'm just assuming that Flash, it's... Yeah. it's to be expected to be none, but uh, sweet. I didn't know if that that uh, needed a number or not. It's got a slash there. Well, she's got yeah, it's yellow too. So I, I think maybe I'd answer my own question. You mentioned. Yeah, but this is predicting it in twenty twenty four. Oh, we're predicting a revenue. Uh, so that I don't know what to say in the heart. Actually, the actual one comes after an audit. Uh huh. Uh huh. Makes sense. And the current ta and the tax and uh, anticipated tax will come after we figure out what the budget is because they can't. You're right, they can't figure that. Can't figure that out until we're all done. Yeah, we're, we're, we all and we need to about it. number probably very close to town meeting. That really makes makes or breaks the right the. Uh, the budget for sure. All right, as, as we move down to the other items here, um, I did put in slide in front of you a little half a sheet of paper that had some or quarter sheet of paper that had some information on, on, on the salary. You weren't here, those were suggested raises, and then as you can see, um. As we go down here, if you have any questions, uh, you know, the select board is determined by the average stipend times five. So that's um, straight, straightforward. The town clerk wages here are estimated 
uh, I, I, at, at 100 and 1,128 hours a year. Um, this number that's here, 2580, has about 10 extra hours or so built into it for uh, emergency select uh, account clerk work. But uh, if you wanted to actually put it down to what it is, we could say it's twenty four thousand eight hundred and sixteen dollars would cover exactly the one thousand one hundred and twenty eight hours with the raise. With the raise, okay. All right. Um, treasurer's wages. That's a good idea. The Taylor, what I'm in favor. Okay. Oh, well, excuse me if I could just interject. But the list is you raised a dollar. You must have a good reason for that. Because the 15 was the initial. That's, yeah, I, I that's, just, I just, uh, I just, that's just, too low. I, I just thought it was less than Burger King. Yeah, I can't have it. No, we've got to encourage people. That's not encouraging them. All right. As I agree with so, uh, The second one is the treasurer wages. Um, now, yeah. please note that the treasurer and the assistant treasurer wages probably estimate last year. 20,000 total. So we've had assistant treasurers doing more work than treasurer. So it sort of looks a little, might look a little wonky, okay. um, but that, that will work itself out. We see here the assistant treasurer making more than the treasurer, but we had a treasurer that was only doing payroll, like, right. and, and so the assistant was picking up that. And that budget will be worked out as needed. But we will have okay. to be able um, to cover. My thought, let's stand at it. My thoughts about the treasure file was quite obvious. That Judy explicitly said she did not want to raise. Right. But she explicitly said to me, we, we, we got to take care of the treasure. Do you think that that's enough to, to be the same as the town court? It seems like we're, every time we do this, we're jockeying the treasure with the assistant clerk, other than with the town clerk. Um, do you think that that's appropriate? I mean, should it? I guess I'm trying to the, same, the town clerk is often, and then under 90 towns is also the treasurer. And so it should be the same rate. And that was something okay. that Samara was pretty pep on. And okay. so we rounded it up okay. to $22 an hour. Okay. And in order to do that, there was two other raises that brought them up to 20 yeah, Okay. I'm good with it, I think. I'm not excited about it, but we're not breaking the bank with this. Mm -hmm. That's why I see it. I don't know you stand, but. Uh, I'm sure you probably have an opinion. It, uh, it, it's, it's, uh, I think adequate for the time. I want to do nothing, but you can't, you can't not do nothing. I, to I your think something is, is appropriate in most cases. Uh, but when I thought and I took the time to look at the hard copy of the VLCT okay. following of other pants, yeah. it was not, it did not contain everything. That the uh, digital company uh, contains, okay. and so that we get out on time, I can okay. not do that. I, if you're willing to settle with, for the comment that oh, yeah. what we are uh, offering or what she has been getting is is right in with what she okay. had to be getting. I'm good. Uh, let's put it this way: that's other towns are both less and more than that. Sure. So it's it's in the ball game. Okay. Uh, what good. what I don't have, you know, I did. I mean, we 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 threw a lot of questions out to Melissa this past week, and one I didn't get an answer on was the de delinquent tax collector. So um, I'm I am good at budgeting the same amount of four thousand dollars for the delinquent tax collector uh, for 2024, unless there is a need to actually decrease it to three thousand um, dollars, because that a would be between the, the, what was actual in 22 was $2,131.50. But we've been budgeting four grand. For and the like a tax rate is the treasurer. Can be. Can, it doesn't have well, to be. Well, I could be elected anyway. Too. Um, keep it, in my opinion, 4000 That's my opinion. Maintain that across the board. Stan, what do you think about Which the topic uh, delinquent topic? tax collector? Oh, that's good. Uh, in terms of salary, um, is it, 
Oh, right here. Uh, you know, you never know how much effort is gonna have to be put into it. We're coming into hard times and raises. I would I would think somewhere between two and four, maybe three would seem reasonable. And if we don't I, use it, I, we don't I, use it. It seems that we didn't do yeah, I would go down to I would save a thousand dollars and I would go down to three thousand. That's what I my my suggestion might be. Uh -huh. so okay, three instead of four. Instead of four. Right, because I guess like that was the budget, but that's not what we actually had. Correct. Right. Okay. Right. All right, so that would be filled in at three. Uh the listers weight wages. Um this is quite sufficient based upon the number of hours that has been put in. They may be doing more hours uh next year. As you see, what actual in 2022 is $2,500 and change. Um, it's yeah. listed here at $6,500. Yeah, well, uh, I think that they're going to be. Yeah, easier. we need to encourage the people to do the job, not encourage them not to do it. Well, this is not reflective of a salary or budget. This is reflective of what was estimated to be budgeted last year. And of that, uh, the actual for 22 was only 2,500. This mm -hmm. is over 25. Mm -hmm. So, so we already know the wages and encouragement is over. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's done in the pain. <laughs> we're we're budget, we're assuming that more hours are going to be worked than yeah. has been. And what it looks like is we're looking at spending, we're, we're assuming more than twice the hours mm -hmm. that we spent in 22. Are going to be spent in physical year 24. Why? Well, that's a good question, but we're allowing for increases in time. Uh, someone has sure. brought up possibly looking at having a reappraisal done. Uh -huh. So there's maybe extra time. We don't. Yeah, I, I'm not necessarily going for a reappraisal at this point. Neither am I. But I do think that we do have a lot of new build in town. That, we, they, that the listers have not since Marsha's retired, even before Marsha retired, they oh. have not gone on site to anybody's house at all. Yeah. So I don't mind. But we're not encouraging that. We're not encouraging that. We have two listers and they're both out of town people. Mm -hmm. So we haven't encouraged that. So anybody wants to build, they can pretty much do what they know they want right now, other than getting a, a septic permit and not have a, and not have it be That's an observation, but I think what I'm, I see Doc hinting at is the fact that we probably want to encourage them to go out and do that. Yes. So that we're not missing things that we should be having. Right. And we're not saying and I'm one of those people. I'm sure we're not saying we're not saying that you only can do this many hours this week. No, we're not saying that. Of course that's not that's right. my right. point. Yeah. That my question is are we budgeting over are, is sixty five hundred dollars too much to budget for the listers with an increase in uh well I said that's that. a lot. I mean, it's three thousand fifteen hundred dollars a person. Is that what I bear based on twenty two figures? Are they right? Four thousand? Did I do that? No, I didn't. Two thousand a person. So that's two thousand extra a person. Is that appropriate? Is that an, is that? I can see reducing this to uh by a thousand dollars easily. The what five thousand? I, about, I can agree with that. Five yeah, thousand. Yeah. Bring it down right. to five. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So there we go. Okay. Um, the auditors. That's a base based upon the, the amount of work that they put in. Sometimes they don't even put in for their audit hours. But that's okay. Kendra, Maestrom, and uh, Rucker. Rucker. And, and, okay. um, assistant town clerk wages again based upon the slight increase in the number of hours. Um, that sh that is being worked minus the two hours that are we pulled out. Melissa has pulled out of the line item from the assistant town clerk the doing the books, uh, photocopying the digital records. So two hours per week for digital records will be on a different line item at the same rate. Um, okay. Just wanted to let you know on that. Okay. So. This assistant town clerk, based upon the number of hours, that's okay. appropriately uh, okay. balanced. Uh, election officials, I really don't know much about that. That's it's got a dash there. We don't um, have an election this year. Anyway. No, we don't have an election this year. No. Okay. No. Here we go. Thank um, God, you're gonna get a night off. 
<laughs> All right. So again, here's the assistant treasurer. You notice again, I mentioned that the assistant treasurer uh, uh, wages. Um, I got twenty dollars. Very fast question to you. Very. Mm -hmm. Not that I wasn't here that much to, to know this before 2014. Did we have an assistant treasurer or the treasurer all the time? I, a treasurer. Oh, you're talking assistant treasurer on that clerk. Keep going. Forget I even answered that. Okay. I was thinking clerk. Sorry. All right. Assistant treasurer. Um, again, as their roles get reestablished. Um, and, you know, at some point we're going to have to, Judy doesn't want to remain for a long time as the assistant treasurer. So there'll be some training money that needs to come. And I felt that that but following that same route from fiscal year 23 yes. would be okay. She's got to be in the end. And she's got COVID this week. Yeah, you got COVID? Yeah. My wife's doctor got COVID. Oh my God. How's, how's this working for you? The doctor's going to take care of some, whatever. All right, so let's work clerk. clerk. Um, that is uh, clerk. that's select work clerk. That's Peter. Back, what Peter's doing right now. Peter, we are going to be receiving a. Uh, I know last week you had last meeting you said told us after the meeting that you would be retiring from the clerking for for new for our select board. Um, so that's official, or yes, actually, I retired from everybody. Uh, WCSU uh, was very kind to me. <laughs> They didn't give me any fuss. What do you say? They were very kind of uh, Yeah, I'm going to write a book. I'm not going to do this anymore. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I understand. Okay. Um, but we do, we will at some point need to have someone clerk so we have for that. that. So that's a lot of money has to stay in there. Yeah. Uh, animal control lovers or stipend. Anyone is welcome to sign up for that. Uh, be a friend of me. I just wanted to let you know. Yeah. Uh, is that up for election? Is that it? No. Is that the town it's appointed. It's appointed. Assistant town clerk does records restoration. This is where I told you it got pulled out of the account and based upon uh -huh. past records, this is what the extra um, uh, four hours a month at that rate for 52 weeks would come out to. Uh -huh. uh, a road commissioner is a, is a constant stipend of Five hundred dollars. Um, as you notice, I've asked Melissa to put in two other stipends: one for building commissioner and grant supervisor. I just find that having a stipend makes people more responsible because they are um, uh, being paid for 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 their time, effort, thought processes. Um, and again, any of the stipends can always be uh, turned back or not accepted. That's true. But it, it's it's just something that I think is important just to help here and there a little bit. Well, if you're, no matter where, all commissioners obviously, mean, but no matter where that all lands, lands in March, the biggest concern is being able to get people to fill these positions, which is our biggest concern right now. Yes. We I got see. three open select board. Right, excuse me. We'll have one. It's just you. It's just you though, that's not reelected. Yes, I, 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 I believe I'm for one year. So yes. I'm not elected, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. So we, we basically have four there were select people. The dean was left as the only sole select board person on the board back in 2014. That's yeah. the last time this happened. It's Everything is all well, okay, anyway, I would get to all of it. Okay. But my obviously idea is not to do a new building commission, is to try to encourage people to do these jobs. Yes. Especially a select board. All right. Payroll taxes are estimated based upon the uh, salaries that were presented. Same thing with the Vermont uh, state unemployment tax. Oh. Oh. Okay. Payroll service fees, as Stan noted, every every pay system, every every pay twice a month we have to pay over almost close to seventy dollars just to have the payroll. Sixty five dollars and fifty five cents. Yeah. Paper deposit. So it's sixty five times twenty six. Um, whatever that comes out to be, but anyway, yeah. this is pretty close to that number. Yes. 
uh, supplies and postage. Um, remember when Guy said that he would like to see an extra thousand dollars put into the budget so that he could uh, purchase upgraded computers for the for the town by adding the thousand dollars here. He can purchase four computers. If you if we don't, I don't know, he could do it from whatever other funds. He, he's doing it through his supplies, office supplies. Yeah, I guess that, but it's still being added to the budget. But if we were to that out so, but that doesn't make sense because if he if he spent three thousand, he's only going to buy four computers for a thousand dollars. Because he has the flexibility of his money's coming. Think about that. It's, it's not here. I don't see it here as, as extra. Great. I got on the end of it. You're looking at $1,700 a few. Yeah, yeah. If it's yeah. Not yeah. Like yeah. Like yeah. So Wait. that to me is $3,200 minimum. I, I don't know what stands for one thing. But Senator now he's only spent 28 before. So by putting 55, he should still be able to. At least get two systems in. Or Mark would say something. Oh, no, no. Um, I was in the favor of why isn't this type of a, a purchase coming out of our ARPA funds or excessive money from the rental? Who, who Susie? I don't know. I understand well. He, he, he doesn't want to approach asking for ARPA funds, nor did he want to approach asking for it. Okay. Right. But it's a supply. This is where he buys the computers from and the monitors under this line item. Okay. Supplies and postal. Okay, but I'm not saying that we, I'm not trying to say this. Why add to the budget if we can take it from the money that we already have that's not on the budget? We have a capital improvement fund of several thousand dollars. Well, that's not a capital improvement. Okay. We have we have ARPA money. We have Susie's money. Um, I'm just trying to do everything I can to possibly keep this this budget down so that we don't smack the living crap out of our town. And it's pointing that way. So, I'm so just Bruce, what's your suggestion? Well, my suggestion is to cut it. Just leave the supplies and postage and, and figure out and whatever you want. What's, how much do you want? 28 to 55? Roughly $1,700, $2,700. Take it out of ARPA, take it out of Susie's money rather than taking the, rather than, than, than increasing the budget. That's why I said whatever. I agree with the Susie's budget. Take it on that. Right but, but, sure. I mean, That's if, it saves, if it saves $2,000, okay, well, I'm happy. Okay, well, then what we're going to do is put well, all rental monies into a, into the, into a fund that's okay. that's that's what part I'm, of the revenue side. And on another subject, subject which yeah, it's not an obstacle, is it? Yeah, well, yeah, I no, no, just, it could come out of that account. So maybe we do that and just see it's not part of our revenue stream. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But it's, it's not good it as part of the revenue stream. What the rental fees, the rental fees. For the re okay. rental revenues are not anywhere in this budget. You know, okay, right? rental for what? You're talking about the bill. Susie's, okay. That, I don't understand what you're trying to do. Um, all I'm saying is don't spend the money here, spend the money over there. And what I was going to suggest is anything that's ARPA related or anything that we're going to spend, whether it was a capital improvement fund or Susie, that's when we take that on one specific day. We can all agree right now, we'll buy in computers and we can buy them out of one of those funds. All I'm suggesting is we do it out of, out of the funds rather than raising the budget. All right, so what we need to do tonight or at the next meeting is we need to really clarify how those that revenue is going to be documented. Okay, That's well, what I'm concerned about. Yeah, I don't know. Well, it sounds like it's You're a matter of fact thing. Well, I make it can be done. And look, absolutely. Okay. And it, and it will happen. It's, it's a matter of uh, well, as one of the other committees in town said, we're, isn't there money available to the citizens from so the daycare rental income? And, and, uh, I, and, you know, I wasn't thinking along those lines, but, you know, now that, you know, you bring that up, I'm sitting here thinking, why not? Why does it need to be a budgeted item? And, and we had a budget for it, but we know where it's going to come from, and it does not mean increasing taxes. To do. That's where so I'm it driving. seems to me the methodology in, in executing this is to uh, indicate that you know we're we'll leave the postage and pay, pay the postage and supplies yeah, yeah. at the three thousand dollars instead of fifty five hundred and, and just and just let guy know we're gonna 
we're gonna we're in favor of buying them and we're yeah. gonna take the money from this house right. right because this is every year this should be a budget item it's kind of crazy to budget posters and supplies out of Susie's fund if in a year from now she's no more this is budget this has to be budgeted every year but when you buy it's a one-time purchase yeah, once every five and, uh, and, and since we're talking about it, that's going about with anything else that's related to Bradbro meeting house uh the money we've all agreed to give them the fifteen thousand dollars would be beautiful they, they got that grant uh and other things this is what I was talking about months ago where we just put all the money on the table I'm talking about the extra money our the suits and whatever you know got a little approval fund put down on our want list and work it out how we're going to do it all right, but that hasn't happened yet. We haven't had time to do that kind of a meeting because no, we're yeah. correct because of this. So I'm wondering is it is an offshoot of that if we would if the board feels comfortable pursuing that. I mean, I'm looking at this in terms of who's going to be offended, uh, if anyone, and the concept of a individual buying computers, whether it be from a budget in his area or whether it be a budget from another source in town, it shouldn't be an offense or an offending action at all. It's yeah, it's well supported and money. Yeah. So so the I'm wondering if the proper thing for us to do if it if that account is not uh established to be utilized currently in a manner that utilizes us setting that money aside for computers, then what we need to do for our first meeting in unless we have another meeting this month in January would be to uh motion to have that particular account set up and as a part of continuing on to see that it happens, vote to approve the expenditure of it from that new account. So you would add under town operating revenues, rental income. Yeah, you could. And the rental income is $24,000 a year. But uh, is it is it going up? What's the rent? Well, it is going up in a step process. process. Yes, but but next, I think the, next uh, July next and year the last year. year and as of December, she'll have to tell us whether she's going to re, re up the following July. Sorry, for short No. All right, so we have to get the new twenty twenty four rental amount. I should have you on this machine. Um, okay. I'm not, I'm not saying that we should spend the entire money. I will look. It's like, um, I'll go back to what I originally was saying. Take the rental income money. Take the ARPA money. These are our numbers. This is what we're expecting in the next year or whatever. And have your wish list on the table. Figure out what you're going to do for buying equipment, housing on equipment. You, want, you can need a couple thousand dollars for computers. You need this for... It's just a matter of leveraging your money and using your head when you're figuring out your spend. All right, but I'm just trying I to think... go through them very quickly. Yeah, and me that's too. fine. Me I too. think we need to have the rental income under the town operating revenues, and it okay. needs to be shown here. And okay. then, as we need to transfer it we to the pay that fund. for that fund, or the ARPA has their own. ARPA but should also. You got a great point because that's just going to make it a lot easier for for our exactly. two friends in the other room. All right, so okay. the fines and postage. In 2022, was set at 4,500, but less than 3,000 was spent. In 2023, it was set at 4,500. We don't know what was spent. Do you want to leave it at 4,500? Do you want to go to 4,000? What do you want to do for the proposed fiscal year 2024 budget for supplies and postage? If you're not going to add a thousand dollars, I was put it at 45, and budget for fiscal. For fiscal year 22 was 4,500, but actual for last year was, was 28. Well, split the difference? I don't know. Um, that's, that's almost $1,700 difference. Uh, $3,000, $4,000, something like that. That's fine. Why don't we split the difference? I, I don't know any other practical way around it. So if we don't have an accurate number, other than that glaring 4,500, Current year budget, we don't know what you spend. I mean, if it was year Hold on, let me add it up. If we change the budget line item to uh, 
$3,655, that would split the difference between the 2828 and the 4500. 3665? 30, 3665. I would just I would, I would round okay. it to something like 3750 uh, only because whoever's going to work with us next time has to do all the math. So okay. Um that's well, how I would I would Dan's looking for something. Looking for the lease since I have the one that was the, oh, the final sign. Oh, I could probably. We would. It's not in dot, what do we raise it? 200 a year? I don't know. Yeah, that. I think it was 200. 200 a, I believe it was 200 a year. As 2000, I think it goes to 22. Well, the I one that's check. lined out said 21 6. I'm sorry, what? The one that I have that's lined out for whatever reason said that the second year was going to be 21 6. So once that comes to a little more, 21 6 divided by 12. Two thousand one hundred and six dollars. Is that a percentage change? No, we did it by equal numbers. We didn't do it that way. Eighteen hundred dollars a month. It's two thousand now. I know. So if it's twenty two now, it should go to twenty one thousand six hundred. I believe it's twenty two hundred next year because we gave her a break this year. We didn't. We didn't raise her income, and then we went to, I believe, two hundred pop a year. After that. I don't, 20, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. We're going to have to look at Yeah, I have it all. We're going to have to look at it. Yeah, I have it. I'm Although what's wrong with the shirt? What's 20, um, 2200 times 12? 24, 20. 24, 20. 24, 20. 26, 400. Huh? Am I that bad? $2,200 times 12. <laughs> $26,400. I only got one thing to say about 26, that. $26,400 is what I get. Sweet. Uh, I'll, check, I'll check when I get home. All right. I'm sure I got that. I'm back down to supplies. And tell me if I'm going too fast, guys. Okay, fine. Okay. No, no. Fine. Fine. I'll let Diane. I sure stand still. With the understanding that the fiscal 22 year was at less than 3000 and we're not going to have to raise money for taxes to buy it computer equipment if we're going to use other revenue sources, should the supplies and postage be reduced to $3,750, which would be a little bit more than half the difference. I, I, it's whatever. We're not going to hit that number, whatever it is. We have <laughs> extra fine if we have it for short. We'll make it up somewhere else as we've always done. Mm -hmm. So any number that is between Fifty-five and twenty-eight hundred. I'm happy. Yeah. So if anyone wants to number, number, as Dot just did, yeah. I want to say either one. <laughs> Do it, Dot. I think that's one. Leave it thirty-seven. I mean thirty-seven. Look, 50. At, you want to look, look at this way. Well, no, look at this way. You have you've increased it almost nine hundred bucks, given actually a place to year twenty-two. That's quite a steep difference. That's what thirty-three percent roughly. Yeah, really. Not so quite the thirty-seven twelve. 50 is fine. Okay. Percent. Almost 33% increase over a fiscal 22. Right. Town report expenses. Um, do we have the, do we just put a printer lined up for this? See we well, that? David asked me if we were going to use RC Shaw. And I indicated I had no idea because we hadn't talked about it. I have no reason not to use the guy or the firm. Uh, and I don't care whether we use the same firm personally. So, you know, other than me saying, is he going to be around or about what he charged last year or is thousand dollars you think going to be enough? I, I think that's the extent of our inquiry at this point. Because I, I think the 1,000 is probably going to be right, subject to change uh, for the phone call. Or that's email. a 25% increase. Yeah, well, roughly. I think David, because, yeah, you know, and David's still doing it. So I don't know. I, I'm expecting a number around about a thousand, give or take a hundred or two. Let's go. So, if you want to say for tonight's purpose, and I can follow up with him on him pursuing from the printer a number. Well, we, we budgeted for this year's uh, magazine at one thousand oh, dollars, yeah. and so we we're saying you want to estimate a change. You think that it's going to be going up? And no, I didn't say that. All I'm saying is. I think a thousand dollars is fine. Yeah. If you want me to call them and clarify it, we can go ahead. Confirm that we're going with this guy. We're good. 
All right, planning commission's expenses. We don't have anything there because actually they don't have to do a planning town report for, uh, it's not no longer every five years, it's eight years. So um, unless they, if they start working, then we'll have to find money somewhere. But other than that, there shouldn't be any expenses for the okay. planning commission. Okay, if I may. Yes, sir. Before we lose track of this, we yes. were talking about computers. Yes. We are switching the funding for it. What category, or should we create a new one, should we use as a town operating expense? Well, we have the revenue, uh, you've already set it up for the rental income, at least. Uh, we are, uh, listen to what oh, I said. I'm sorry. What I said was, what category for expense? Oh. Not where it comes oh, from in oh, terms oh, of the oh, money, oh, oh, oh. but what category on the county system do we put it into? I'm sorry, I wasn't complete. No, no, I'm sorry, I wasn't. What would you suggest? <laughs> well, I don't see a ready-made category. All I see is uh, either put another one in or... That's a supply, postage, supplies and postage. You want to put it there? <laughs> uh, supplies and postage to me, I didn't, I never would think that was a computer, but um, it think. is the office supply. Office well, as soon, as soon as you make the computer uh, designation, it's going to be gone the next year. So, well, you know, we have to request for chairs. That's and true. ultimately never have. That's true. So I don't know if this is a time to set something up that might over time become apparent. Uh, maybe, maybe supplies and postage shouldn't be. Uh, and I'm not saying, I don't want to be difficult or take no, the time. I know he's here to put that on there. Yeah. This is the problem um, with the whole budget in a lot of schools, especially the, the winter budget, the road budget. I just also find it as high, 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 high as the number of boards, even myself as a chair, have brought up a topic. But before I leave, I forget to address the other end of that discussion, and that is, uh -huh. where's it going to be on the balance sheet? Sure. So I just thought before we lose sight of it, and I lose sight of it in my thinking, if I ask the question not to delay or delay us. Yeah, well, why don't we just go computer, and the next year it'll be slash. Well, what also Stan is saying is that the chair, that piece of equipment, well, the chair wouldn't be under computer. That's but, true. So town but, office equipment... As a line item, which there would include uh, yeah. like a, what do you think, Sam? Oh, like desks, desks, chairs. And I'm, I'm sorry, I mean, the, no, no, really. Uh, now the photocopier, I guess, is under his supplies and postage, but it's a work uh, in progress, at some point, right. well, we'll see if it's in a Let's see. Let yeah. we continue looking through it. We may have to come back to this because we'll find on page two that there may be another category that we could use. Sure. All right. So let's move on to page two. Expenditures continued. Uh, there is no election grant from 2020 to carry over. There's a question here about abatements. Proposed $5. I mean, we, we put in an abatement category after we had some uh, residential fires and we were concerned that they, and they did use it, but um, to, what, what would the, should we keep it at $500 just in case there is a, a uh, someone comes in and, get, and wins an abated property tax yeah. award? Actually, five. Stayed in my department. <laughs> That's really a question for a guy, um, but not really because anybody can do it, and he has no control over that. Either. Well, each town clerk gets the town. It's the listers that are going to cause it in that, um, or a unexpected event like a fire that's happened every thirty new paying. Right. The state may look for an abatement on that if he's prepaid right. taxes. So, and those are things you never know. Like the fire so that it's, it's probably like our legal expense. You know, right. we had three thousand dollars for how many years? We never used it. So and then we used five hundred dollars. You know, yeah. right. So right. Um, the end of that five hundred dollars right. doesn't get used, and we have a surplus. So I would put five hundred there. For, I agree for an abatement possibility. Yeah, we got to it. Okay, okay, we did go up in legal notices because that went up. Uh, I okay. I did want to make mention that. Um, the woman who does the advertising at the Commons has agreed, and I said in January, I'm going to send her two older RFPs that were paid for and published in the Reformer. 
and ask her what would she have charged the town of Brookline for the same, just to compare and contrast prices because Good. we're putting it in for a day. Okay. But anyway, that's up to a thousand dollars. Okay. Seminars that's helped help through mileage of travel stayed the same. The electric was anticipated uh, 1500. Um, the yeah. meeting house electric. That sounds like a lot for the well, they have an electric heater. Oh, and they've got the lights and oh, yeah, okay. right. And we'll have to check on that. Like the lighting question. Electric heater. Like they have that propane thing that is plugged in. Yeah, but it's it's only for the ignition. But it's probably only for the ignition. I think you're right. It's in other words, it the save money in the sense of money because yeah. there's no fire. It's like 2022. It was over three hundred dollars for the electric. We're the three. Okay. And so we're just keeping it at 300. Okay. Okay. Yes, it's 33. Okay. Okay. Town office telephone remaining the same. We okay. didn't have a change. We, we already discussed the fuel yeah. and the cap on that. Here. Okay. Computer, Computer services. services and maintenance. Computer services and maintenance. Um, We have a cost from two wired guys. Oh. And that, that serves is. That. <laughs> yeah. Two wire guys, the estimated cost is $1,134.95. So keeping it at $1,200 uh, would be right on. Okay. Sounds good. That's right to me. Thank whoever got the estimate. Okay. Uh, fire alarm, insane, legal services, rescue services, we have. Fire alarm was $131.99. Current budget is 500 um, it's, that's a steam. Good. You want to reduce it to three hundred. I don't understand why the current budget was set at five hundred when it was one thirty. Well, what do you want it set to? This important question. We don't need to know why. Okay, I get the point. You know, I mean, it's obviously someone we gave just, a number. We just said, and lots of times this budget is like, oh, just leave it. Yeah. So right now we're looking at it. Well, I'm looking at actually 131. I figure she'd be less than 500. Let's say 300. Change that to 300. No, I'm fine with that. I'm good with that as well. Legal services, you never know. No, you don't. I mean, rescue services have been determined. Okay. We'll Fire department services have been determined. Yeah, Mutual aid has been determined. Okay. The copier contract That's has okay. been determined. Town property maintenance. Now, you asked Melissa, we asked Melissa, to provide us with some information of what is maintenance. And so she sent that to us. And today, she sent it to us today. Do you want to make a copy for everybody? I, I believe I made a copy. All right, so I'll, make, I'll print it for first. How big is it? Two pages. Okay. She sent the goals, now you see it. This okay. afternoon. Okay. I haven't really think come on, on the day of the select board meeting. Doing stuff. Okay. 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 Thank you. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Uh huh. Just a question, you know. Why was maintenance so high? But if you see, it's not only um, not only mowing in that, but supplies that were bought to so this fix is, things, as well as this is all under the town the combination town property maintenance. So yeah, okay. car, tree, and timber shouldn't that be highway? Right? Or would, they, no, or would that be no. town maintenance, road maintenance? It's that, under like contract services. But it shouldn't be under mm -hmm. the same category as mowing the grass around town hall. Correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah I would say that's the that right. would be contract services for highway. For car. Yeah. All right, so that has to be pulled out. I'm glad we. I'm glad you mentioned that. I have still about, seen that observation myself. And maybe talking about the car travel. Green Valley Park. Is that what you're talking no, about? I'm talking about car, tree, and timber. $2,500. Uh -huh. 
Got it. Okay, so we're saying that that is probably miscategorized. Okay. All right. That's why we wanted to look at the why why the property maintenance was so high. Okay. Econo signs. Signage. That's your signage, but yeah. budget, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. So that shouldn't be in in here either. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Uh, Bloom Enterprise Green Valley. Okay, these were all the whole year's worth of work. Why not work? It's mowing, mowing, it's cleaning, it's electric. $2,257. I believe that was for the uh, town the town office work. So that's yeah. accurate. Bruce Mellow's probably a supply for something. Yeah. Blue, W, W, Larson. Those were the lights. Cleaning. Mark to do some work, I guess, here at Town Hall. Oh, Okay, so there was one Mark Bills was moved out. See how they had the hundred dollars in it, so they re, re uh -huh. sent that to the property. They bought uh -huh. that one. They already bought that. Okay, Green Valley's who's Where's Green the, Valley? That's the cleaning guy. The cleaning oh, okay, guy. great. Yeah. In 2 okay, there was a logging A and E and M. Logging. February. February. No, that's you. February 6, 2022. Oh, so March 1st is when the check was written. A E M Loggy batch. That should not be um part of the town maintenance, right? Did you do anything? Did you do tree work over by the rounds? Yes, that's right. That's, that's, that's that would be. I don't know if that time of year they did it. No, the, what's the date again? It's well, the February twenty seventh. The check, the check, yeah. the check was cut. It appears the date of the was March first, twenty twenty two, and it says in February six, twenty twenty two, batch. Eight sixteen, one hundred dollars for A E and M log loggy, L O G G I. But I guess it's logging. I'm going to highlight it and say we're not sure. Okay. Okay. Yes. I don't know. Something last February. Yeah. Code three and code three are fire hydrant issues. Had to be damage from the storm or something. Yeah. So they must have done work. Somebody did work yeah. to take a tree out of the road, and that's what they charged to do it. Got to be. Yeah. Yeah. That would be yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so that would be highway that time of year too. Yeah, it's January. They did it early February. Yeah, early yes. February. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, we're in, we're in normal time of the year doing work like that. Okay, go ahead, Don. All right. So code three, code three, coda and coda one sixty two sixty six. I'm guessing they came here and did mm -hmm. some work at the town. Correction to accounts. There's a correction here that they made. Correcting account postage. And there's another another coda in coda AP 306 and correct posting between. See, I don't know how the corrections are here. Okay. But so we have four. We have uh, three things to check on. Our tree, the eco signs, econo signs, and the uh, logging. Something else. On the the logging page. thing. On the second page. Okay, now, but this is. Um, I'm noticing Scott's plumbing, that's $100 to, uh, that's for the round school. I mean, for the. Uh, uh, the church eating house, turn on the water. Turn turn on the water. water. All right, so it should be here. Yeah, this is under town property maintenance. Okay, so those are two questions. Just, um, updated. And you got to assume the Bloom Enterprise stuff is all right. Okay, from description. See what I'm saying, Doc? There about 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 Scott Plumbing. Bloom. Bloom, okay, I got Bloom, why not Bloom, Bloom, Scott's plumbing. The water on to the 
church. Do we charge it to that's is that the town maintenance or do you want to charge it against the fundraising efforts of the church people of the meeting house people? Well, they have a budget. Um, that's a question though. Okay, well, okay. well, because you have the electricity coming out of the budget. Should they? You, you do, what do you mean? I'm saying not the electricity. Or should they? They have. We have the electricity coming out of the budget, and what you're saying is, what are we going to do with a hundred dollars? It's every twice a year. That I mean, it's not maintenance. I don't think that the church should. I mean, they're it's fundraising to they're fundraising to build up the building, and I think that not gonna argue maintenance with fees or electric and the turning on and off the water is. I think that part, part, should, part of the budget. Yeah. It's more more It'd be depressing to have them hear us say, "Oh, we got to have the water turned off and on when the town owns the building anyway." Right, it's, it's the point. town. They're doing us the benefit of trying to raise money. To yes, you are going to right. You are right. right. So I would leave that there. Yeah. Bloom, bloom, clean, clean. Okay. Uh, okay, so we're going to do that. So that. So we're looking at. Um, Taking off about $25, off of the um yeah. off of the town uh, maintenance. Uh, uh, Twenty-seven off the actual spend. Well, because I mean I talked to this the, these okay. should not be in should not be part of the town property maintenance, the car tree service. I understand all of that. Yeah. The question is yeah, when you say we're taking twenty seven hundred dollars off close. A, a budget that we're indicating is going to be three thousand dollars or taking twenty seven hundred from that. Or are we taking twenty seven hundred from the seven thousand three hundred thirty one fifty nine that was spent last year. So we end up at a roughly five thousand dollars. Um, I guess what I was saying is that they need to update this town property maintenance. I'm assuming that list carries out to the 7331.59 or close to it. And what we're saying is we, these need to be taken off, and you quickly, definitely figured out it's roughly 2700 bucks. Right. So does that mean that we should expect to be spending $5,000 roughly? Less than that. So it's listed here as yeah, 3000 right. Yeah, it's 43. almost not enough at the 4700 or whatever it's going to end up being with a 733159. Right. Okay. Minus so, um, 3700. Well, okay, town property maintenance. Our, our big question was why did it go from, 12, from an anticipated 1200 to? Seventy-three hundred dollars, and so we found out so why because there's close to there's that close to twenty-seven hundred dollars of it mis miscategorized here. So let's get a little calculator. So three three one eight five thousand minus what was the numbers twenty-seven hundred even close twenty-five and. Let's That's $4,631.59. I will well say uh, $4,650. All right. So let's cross off the proposed budget line item of $3,000 and change it to $4,650. Did you say? Yeah. yeah. $4,650. We're on page two. Halfway down, it said property expenditures continued. And it's dark and you'll have to agree it's okay. Oh, here, right here. Okay, okay, I'm changing it. So it, we're going down here, and I crossed off 3,000. Uh, right, and you changed it to 4650. Okay, and I type, and I'm going to address that. Let the treasurer know that we found at least two misapplied numbers oh. to the town's budget, town mm -hmm. municipal hall budget. Okay. All right, trash removal. We see that BLTC views are pretty accurate. Uh -huh. 
Wyndham Regional dues were pretty accurate. Our licensing fees are accurate. This is the Wyndham Solid Waste 38 planned. The law enforcement provides us with um, about 10 hours, seven to 10 hours worth of police ser serving papers if necessary. Um, I asked about insurance and bonds and I got something back from Melissa. Hold on. She said, Enjoy. I'll try not to do what I did last week and have things explode. <laughs> BLTC insurance. Okay. And this afternoon, about five o'clock, Melissa wrote back and she said that she grabbed the latest insurance invoice from the office when she dropped off some other invoices. This is for the current year insurance that she's using. She said after reviewing it, she's broken it down into three 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 items: town office, highway, and hot. I've broken it down into town office and highway insurance. I'm assuming that the rental property will go under the town office portion. Highway workman's comp, she has at 3828 a year. Highway property and casualty insurance at $2,068 a year. There is a credit that we carried of $406. The total highway insurance document would be $5,490. Continuing on, she said the town office workman's comp is $355 a year. The property and casualty insurance rate is $5,547 a year. Again, that she shows a credit of 406. The town hall office is $5,496. She has attached the invoice for us to look over in case she's missing something or coding it to the wrong place. I need to discuss this with Judy because she is breaking it down differently than she is. So what we have here, and Stan, did you get a copy of this? I did. All right. Um, she shows these invoices and I because I printed this out sort of late I, I didn't study it very very hard but it does for the last page the um shows yeah the rental property cost 1715 and the highway dpw is 759 and the general is 1500 so you know it goes on to boiler crime coverage auto coverage liability coverage police well, we don't have police fire ambulance so i guess the question i have if i can ask a question the in the highway expense page we're looking at town highway expenditures and about six tenths of the way down. We see the term highway insurance expense. And we have 4436. I guess it means that we should assume that it's uh, in terms of budgeting, we need to budget $5,490, yeah. breaking it into those two components uh, and that there's no need to leave it in those two categories that she's broken it up into, workers' comp and casualty insurance. Um, all right, so this is the last page. Let me find what you were talking about. Summer Highway. We don't do it. Looks like it's never been dealt with in terms of separating it out. It's always been lumped together. It's really nice for the first time to have the breakout like that because we now know that the bulk of that expense is for workman's company. So where she has highway insurance expense on the fourth page. Yeah. And we budgeted for 2023 $4,436. Yeah. We should be putting for 2024 
or ninety five. How about five thousand five hundred? We could, yeah, five thousand five hundred dollars because mm -hmm. that would be within ten dollars of five thousand. Five thousand five hundred dollars. Last page. Yeah, I got it. Okay, I think I got it under insurance right. bonds. Yep. So now the other bond page that we, that stopped me from moving forward. So we should. So for the insurance and bonds for the for the town. Where do we see that insurance and bonds? On um, page it says expenditures continued. Page, very two, page two. Page two. Page two. Mm -hmm. Under law enforcement, it says insurance bonds. It was fifty five hundred, and then in twenty twenty two, the actual amount was eight thousand seventy five. I'm thinking that they combined it somehow. One of the mm, treasurers must have, yeah, made yeah. a mistake. All yeah. right, so uh, we're looking at the insurance bond. Then for the town office, should be five thousand five hundred again for that as well. Five thousand five hundred. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, if you're noticing county tax, that was left blank in previous handouts. I asked her to figure out why it was uh -huh. left blank, and she filled it in at 5763. Yeah, so keeping it at $6,500 should be sufficient unless you wanted to reduce it, but who knows what county tax is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, the $6,500 ratio is actually 5700 you want to drop it down to six, or you want to keep that high? Well, I know there was an article in the newspaper back uh, last summer about the fact that there were significant improvements needed in the courthouse, and the cost of those was going to be mm -hmm. well over a million dollars. And so if I look at that, mm -hmm. and they're going to make changes, and they may need to increase budget okay. typically to accommodate that, if if leaving it at sixty five hundred dollars is not a bad idea. Okay. Okay. Uh, impound fees, expenses, three hundred. That's the contract, I guess. Fat TV went up to eighteen hundred. Fire permits, fifty, and bank fees sixty. So those all pretty much are, are all filled in for this whole page. Yay! Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 Which page was next? Was it appropriations or town highway revenues next? Up Usually, the appropriations. Become well, I think we had done the uh, appropriations, the appropriations, well, the revenues, uh, and had no questions about those. I do have a couple of things. To you bring. do. Okay. Right. You want to talk about appropriations? No, I'm, I'm on the uh, highway. But okay. oh, I can so go to the high high high. Okay. All right, let's stay with the higher. I didn't know which is there wasn't anything to be inserted. Number to be inserted as taxes. Okay, one, two. See, I didn't number my pages. That's my problem. That's why I was asking. All there right. was one question. Yes. And I think you answered it. But I know that uh, mm -hmm. Melissa asked, uh, made reference to it. She said she put the current use at 10,000. And then she said Stan had indicated another number. And if my memory is not failing me, the number that I had indicated was from the website of $9,444. And we talked about that at the last meeting and decided to simply round it up at 10. Mm -hmm. So it well, that, that's, that's on there. Yeah. yeah. So if that's the understanding, then there's no need for discussion about that other than letting Melissa know that we settled on 10. There was a number of 9444 that we were talking about last time. Right. And, and she put in the 10. Yes, yeah. we did. Yeah. But in the today's in today's email back to us oh. to all your questions, she specifically mentioned that as she left it alone, but she thought Stan had mentioned another number. Oh okay. so I guess what I'm saying is if in the conversation that she may have with anybody here, she says, Did you talk about the ten thousand dollars for current use? And and the answer would would be if, if everyone has the same memory I do, that the number was nine four 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 nine thousand four hundred forty four dollars. We decided to round it to ten. Okay, that makes 
Okay. I think the other concern she had was because we had estimated 12,000 for 23. Yes. But then I think I remember from last year's meeting, Guy had said that because of the computations that were done last year, the agency that sends us that money estimated on the high side and we'll, we should not plan on that happening again this yes, coming right. budget, if you remember that. So there you go. Right. Okay. Okay, um, on page three, current highway revenues, the current taxes, we're leaving that open because we don't know what that will be. State aid estimate, 41,000. Yep, okay. And that's, and that's what, from their website, right. 41, 148. Okay. Right. Highway grants, better back roads, and Wyndham Regional Commission, we have 12,500. Yep. Mm -hmm. Highway salt shed grant. So would we... Drop the 24 post budget, we wouldn't be spending anything in that. Well, this is income, so oh, it's income. So, so, so the question becomes uh, the fact that in our discussion with the Wyndham Regional people uh, and Chris Hunt from VTrans, it sounded like they were going to bill us for uh, they have a bill us for the uh, payment amount. Which we need to pay, and you know what? We're the mutual commission. Uh, I didn't see it on. Uh, yeah, we, we need to uh, uh, be aware of the fact that uh, we're gonna. The actual number that they build us for is higher than this amount, and and when we get reimbursed, it's the one thousand eighty dollars is what we should expect to receive from the training okay. Okay. for. The ninety percent reimbursement. I got you. Okay, so okay. that's why that's there. Okay. Now, if they tell us that they they're not they're dropping that process and don't even bother to submit it, that we're some they're just going to cut cut the exchange of money and just ask for uh, us to expect no reimbursement because they're going to reimburse us and we got to pay it back because this money they spent because they're canceling it. You know, they're 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 asking for everything that we've spent. Are, are everything that we've gotten a reimbursement for back? That's how they got that ten thousand dollar number plus. And and Chris Hunt said we reimbursed you ten thousand, whatever the exact number is, and that money we need back. And then he went on to say that potentially there's going to be another roughly twenty seven thousand dollars in fees that the town may have to pay back if the Secretary of Transportation decides that he wants full reimbursement. And I think he decided made a side comment that he doesn't know that that in fact is gonna be the case. He may give us a discount. I doubt that he'll wipe it all out. But he's going to and some out of the towns and to not create a penalty scenario for withdrawing leaves the door open for a number of people who might be considering quitting, quitting. And then they're gonna have a minority of paperwork. So I personally am not expecting much of a reduction. Okay, so I would just, so that's fine to, to be, all right. Good, good analysis on that. That makes makes a lot more sense now. Per, permit revenues, interest on investments, pretty straightforward. I'm not sure what this transferred in. Yeah, no, it's ARPA. ARPA. For what? No, that was for $27 for the heating system. Well, that might have been mine. Yeah, it's highway. You're right. Yeah, You're right. right. Yeah. Um, okay. Good memory. Let's move down. Summer. I'm to cry for that. <laughs> sure, so we are ready on that point now. Okay. Uh, the salaries are pretty straightforward by taking the hours and hours and multiplying it out. That's the maximum 52. Mileage, okay. we said, went up a little bit because of gas prices. Okay. There was a question here for us. When the regional commission grants, we're looking at expenditures. Those the, the, uh, match money. Yes, that's part okay. of it. Match money. Yeah. Highway payrolls are based upon salaries. Summer contract services, thirty six k. So that's the point right there. 
Summer contract yes. services. Yeah. This should be That's for the good. car tree should go here. She has to move that. That's right. The car tree and signs has to go in that car tree goes there. The yeah. signs come somewhere Her else. Her budget was 43. Now we need a 38. Oh, yeah, science. There's a road sign miscellaneous. Yeah, I see it down below. Oh, yeah. Yep. All, right. All right, so contract services 36, salt shed expense. Well, 36 plus car. For 36, well, the car is going to have to get moved into the current 23 budget. Oh. All right. Okay. Right. That's going to go into so, the 23 budget. So it's going to be now. 40, whatever, 40, 45, 45 or whatever. Like okay. Yeah. Okay. So we leave it at 36 in terms of 24 budget. Unless you feel that we need to do contract services with yeah. that so that we can get the rest of the, we're going to have to, okay, here's the deal. When I had my conversation with FEMA yesterday, they are approving the mitigation of everything's marked as asked that needs to be mitigated. Some of the smaller culverts would cause the other damage they said okay we can put we'll pay for the 36 inch secondary culvert mm -hmm. up above and we have to pay for that and then we get money back so i don't know our problem is that we got to cut we could borrow from ourselves so i guess um I don't what know did they say they're gonna pay this this is to 90 percent back how much we don't, I, you know what? No. It's hard to say how much it's going to end up costing. No, no, no. But yeah, maybe we shouldn't be maybe we shouldn't be budgeting less than what we did the year before. And when do they promise to pay back? They don't. They mean what we spent the year before. They, yeah. Well, what maybe we, we should budget at um, what we spent the year before because that forty three thousand. You're suggesting. On forty three and two fifty two thousand five hundred, so it's, let's say forty five thousand dollars. I'm I'm open to whatever's being realistic. Yeah, and you I, went on that right along. So if you feel forty five is not going to go along, we can do that. We're going to have when we start to get the reimbursements coming through. What's been obligated, we'll have the opposite problem the next budget, and that is. Too much coming in. Yeah, it's gonna it's you're gonna have a little balloon effect. But I don't want to be we only have until December of next year to get everything done. They're not okay. So they promise you're gonna pay by the end of December. No, they're not they have a promise to pay in anything, but, but that's the problem, that, that's the deadline. So I would suggest that the summer contract services be increased to forty five thousand dollars. I'm sorry to say that makes sense. I'd say do that. Um, I agree. Okay. Um, next one says highway salt shed expense. That would be blank. Uh, let's see. Highway salt shed expense. Well, we're, I'm trying to re recall, where did we compensate on the income side of the, uh, Let's see, we didn't have any sand and salt shedding because the grant income, did we? Over mm -hmm. here. Okay, but we gotta we're gonna have to pay conceivably uh thirty thirty-seven thousand dollars out in six months, I suspect, or getting out of the, the uh salt and shed program. I don't think that they're going to charge us the, that kind of money. Kind of we money. already been told ten of it any ten plus. Yeah. And I think that's that I don't think they're gonna be I think that would be highway robbery on a town like us to, uh, to, to do that. I hope you're right, but yeah, I I, I just will only go on record saying I, I don't believe that's gonna happen. I think we're gonna be asked to pay a chunk, whether it be fifty percent or seventy percent or eighty percent. I mean that would be real compassionate. And then they're going to have to listen to anyone else say to them, well, you did this for the time. Well, we yeah. didn't know if anybody was going to drop it. I mean, we don't have control over. We don't have any. No. Well, well, we do have. We don't have any control over their decision, correct? 
So, uh, and you know, maybe because we're small, they'll feel sorry for us and give us a big break. Oh, I, I don't know. You know, I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. I just want to go on record. So, I I think we should leave it the same. But if we if, or add add the thirty say thirty eight thousand dollars check. Thirty eight thousand. Yeah. Where? Ten plus twenty seven. And I'm it's, it's not document. documented anywhere here. It's a discussion. It's not, you can never reach grants. No, you're saying that this. Where is there a grant expense already here? That's above, the it's thing. the third one down. It's thirty-two thousand dollars. Okay, okay, that's where it that that yeah that must be it. But it that's already discounted. It, I know. I drive that number from yeah. somewhere. I think the grant is already the salt shed expense. I think because we don't have a salt shed. I think yeah. that's our current shed. Yes. Okay. Correct. Um, and I want to make a note now that I look at the next line item where it says August 2021 flood yes. contract services. Maybe. Why is it? Maybe that's where we should be putting the extra money, the extra ten thousand dollars onto here instead of expecting to spend ten thousand dollars being spent on all on the you know, uh, what we one for us. Which is what we said under summer contract services, two right. lines up. Right. So 39k right. and we spent 10. And I don't understand how that could actually, you know, we spent 10000 in the summer of 2022. I don't know how that happened, but. Um, and we sent for 45. And now we have current 23 budget at 43. Okay. And then oh, yeah. proposed 36. Maybe we should. You said 45. So I, I said to change to 45 because I was concerned about being able to complete the FEMA work. However, there is a line item, August 2021 flood yeah. contract service, which is. Uh, no, no, no. I see what you're saying. Uh -huh. Yeah. So we should take, keep the 36, correct? There. Yeah. And yeah. change this to. Um, Another 9,000? Or is it 10,000? I, I, I would make it 30,000 at least then. Uh, uh, that's not. How much is it going to cost us to fix the FEMA stuff? I know we had an estimate with those materials that FEMA had sent us, okay. plus estimated equipment times. And the one culvert area with materials was uh, 27,000 for one job. And then over on Holland Hill, the concrete wing walls, I guess that includes wing walls on. This side of Putnam now, uh -huh. and the other side was somewhere in that same value of twenty some thousand. Right, and if we have to pay pay for the paving, has to get finished. Uh, when I explained to FEMA yesterday about the paving issues, they said that's fine. You can have five people do the job, break it up into little steps. We just want the final number. And also the other the other. One that uh, not added to the those two numbers is the ditch stoning up where the the flood washed the road away. We put the road back, but we never Ditched finished it. the ditching and stone line, which they request as part of that. So there'll be quite a bit of material and time to. All right. So there are actually two line items for the FEMA. One is called contract services, and one is called materials. We have nothing. Uh, okay, I yeah, we have about forty thousand dollars was spent. Yeah, on materials. Do you think forty thousand? Another forty thousand would we will get reimbursed? But we don't know exactly. Is this summer selling like, materials? Where it says. August 2021 flood sure materials. In that we had to have the money finish the job. Oh, right? materials, yeah, okay. Yeah, so they, the, the cost of materials is probably up. Mm. Same with equipment mm. usage, whether it's contracted or rented. 
Because again, here it's four, five, that's seventy eight, seventy one thousand dollars of expense sort without looking at Mark's uh, hourly involvement in the FEMA project. So there's seventy one thousand dollars of expense that were not budgeted previously. I, and that's why we had to stop working last fall because we didn't have the budget. We didn't have the money. So I'm thinking do we might do we need set do we need to budget for FEMA? Well we're gonna to have to spend seventy thousand or seventy five thousand between those two line items. It's these are like unusual yeah. needs, but yeah, we got to get it done. Otherwise, we'll pay a hundred percent when we have to remediate it ourselves. Right. And we get ninety. Yeah. We get ninety back. So, are we going to break it up into materials and and uh, services, or you simply got? And that's because it's FEMA. I'm assuming this August on August is FEMA FEMA. These are both FEMA FEMA, yeah. Okay. I wish it was close. They were next to each other and said FEMA, but I think I'm going to ask her to put FEMA there because it, okay. uh, contract services, and flood materials. yeah, for the flood. Um, like, I mean, are we breaking up the paving that was just done into materials and labor, and on our account on our accounting sheet here, or are we just going as a full time job? That would be a that's a bidded job. The the what's broken up is Mark going out and adding all the ditch stone, yeah, and and, and um having a com company come in and open up the ground and move stuff around for us because we don't have an excavator. Um, I you know what I, I, we can't. It would be better to budget the same amount. Rather than be go, I mean, or more. So either thirty thousand for contract services or more, or and forty thousand for materials or more. In expectation of getting it back. In expectation of getting ninety percent of it back. Correct. Yes. So we're going to yes. change the service contract for FEMA from two twenty thousand five hundred to forty thousand, adding fifteen. Oh. You said thirty. No. Yeah. We're. He's talking contract services for blood, I think. For, for blood, because that's okay. Right. Right. It says 29 in 2022 it was $30,000. So that should be 30000 Oh, instead of 20500 Yes. Okay. 30000 And then the uh, flood materials are going to be 40. And the flood materials, if we say, if we, if we just duplicate what was spent in the past 40, then that's 80. $140,000. Yeah. And that's but that's what we said it's gonna to cost to do it. Yeah. That would be that would be the way to go because those two spent hundred eighty thousand on damage. Yeah. Okay. Good timing. I am starting to do it. I'll bring a big Okay. But if you could like that way, I don't like it. All right, so Gentlemen, is that good then? Thank you, Samara. All right, thirty thousand for for FEMA contract services and forty thousand for FEMA materials. Mm -hmm. Okay, summer highway materials, which is in the middle of that, is up at forty one thousand. That's fine. Winter salaries, is that two mileage at three hundred. Payroll tax, considering she can she estimated three hundred. Wonderful, you're moving. Winter contract services that based upon the current year's uh, cost of plowing and us. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. That's 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 for our, our, that winter materials. That's our our, our salt and sand. Mm -hmm. Electric for shed. Town shed maintenance. I think we might need a little bit more maintenance on the town shed. Can we double that? Right. Good. What do we got to do? I think if we're going to even build a shed or some kind of cover for the gravel. Yeah. Okay. Just a second. A second. A second. Some kind of start, at least start to. Where is the eight thousand bucks that we had for um, kind of half the long? We started off as being a concrete uh, 
I'm uh, telling you it got absorbed somewhere else, but I'm not. I don't see it here. No, I don't want to spend it. It's in an account. It's it, it shows it, on the account. It, it, Does it? I think the thing we need to be worried about and consider is when we do the uh, town report, do we create an article that takes it from its designated category to a, an open category where it can be used for another project? If, if, if we can't find it, it's already been done, and I'm sure it's already been done. It's then not yeah, last month's report. It's not in, in last year's report. You know, this was done a couple of years ago. $8,000? Oh, yeah. I hate it. Oh, yeah, no, it was not in the public. It wasn't in put it in. That's right. It was revoted. Before I, before I left, after five years, before I left, it was revoted. It was revoted mm -hmm. to, to put it into the highway. The new self. The salt said. Well, there's yeah. a designated category in the highway that's $8,000. It shouldn't be there. Though. Okay. I'm just saying that the, the, it, it shouldn't be that way. Okay. So we're. Thank you for clarifying that. I didn't know that. Yes. And I'm so sorry if I seen it wrong. It's. I have to find the motion now, but I, I you know, we got to go back and, oh, and we'll find the motion. We'll find out exactly where it was put. I can't recall personally right now. Mark, yeah, it, it originally it was Jimmy Rogers uh, for the plan. For the, it was, I believe, the road foreman that year. Yes. You can figure out what year cement in the building, but uh, then we put it into the salt sand shed account. Yeah. But did it actually go there? We had so many treasures. I don't know. I'll look it up when I go home. Well, I won't email you tonight, but sometime tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> You'll find it. Give that dog a bone. There you go. <laughs> Great. Come with me now. Materials. Salt Sanchez Electric. Okay, town sewer shed maintenance. This is where we okay. were at. I know we spent only about five hundred dollars uh, in twenty twenty two, and I'm not sure what we spent this year, if any, but. Uh, if we're not doing, we did, we deferred any maintenance because of the building possibility. Do we want to leave that at a thousand, or do we want to? I would. Well, say I think I'd ask Mark that question. Yes, I would depend on him to. What do we need be to be looking do? at? Because he's yeah. out there working. Does he need? Is he thinking on occasion? Well, yeah, I need to do that. I need to do that. I've done some low budget repairs. Yeah, it's with materials laying around, and uh, so it's more. Hourly that I've done. Mm -hmm. um, there is room for some purchase for materials to uh, rebuild some rotted or broken lumber around the structure. Is this what we were talking about? The shed. No, this is just general shed upkeep. Oh. And then once the FEMA comes in, we can consider them doing something a little bit more. Yeah, uh, additional. I, I think uh, you know, if you wanted to start some sort of a fund, to do something in the future. You're talking about rebuilding the salt retention. Yeah, maybe an expansion or. I could see yeah. that waiting one year. Yeah. And I'm and doing that in the next well, budget with with FEMA, hopefully that we have yeah, some money yeah. on the back end. So one thousand then would be a realistic number for this year, this coming uh, twenty. This yeah. year twenty. Could you yeah. fill up a thousand and spend? Yeah, yeah. sure. Too. Yeah. All right. Hmm. Bad seminars, two hundred insurance, uh, highway insurance. We put down at fifty five hundred dollars. Okay. Stormwater right. management permits. <laughs> That's our favorite thing. Is that about right now, 1250 that we need? Well, I Is learned this afternoon late that uh, it's, uh, this is an issue that we need to look at. And I, I no. emailed the state. Our, our annual fee is going to either be $500 or $1,350. The key to that is a decision that should be made by uh, DTRANS. And the, it's based on population. In the past, in the prior census, the, the one that was 11 years ago, we we had under 500 people. When you look at the, the annual fee calculation, a town that has more than 500 people and less than 50 miles in roads has an annual fee of $1,350. 
which is $850 more than what we've been paying. On top of that, we we have uh, let's see, there should be. I think that I think it's the annual fee from now on. Uh, this this year has been a, a strange year because they're converting from a new system to an old system. They're getting rid of, with a, rid of Wyndham. Mark has to provide them with our own certification of roads complete and the. And prior previously, the annual fee, the annual report was submitted April first, and the fee was paid June first. With the new conversion, they're not only changing the software; they're changing the dates. Now the the fee and the re report are due April first, and we've got we've been in a five hundred category. So you, you I emailed them. Done. I emailed them which is it going to be for us. And she asked me, what report were you looking at? What, what schedule were you looking at? Well, it's the one created by them. How many do they have? So I sent her both of them back this afternoon. I would hope that within two days she'd get back to me and we'll know the exact number. So, so again, essentially that may not be enough. So you think we should make it $1,350 or $1,450? I would say $1,350 would be a safe bet. That would be the max. One, three. Five. Oh, instead of twelve fifty. Instead of twelve fifty, yeah. Okay. Equipment, fuel, parts, and maintenance. We went up a thousand dollars for because of the, and that's at fifty five. Road signs and miscellaneous, fifteen hundred dollars, and we know that there are some signs that go in there from the town budget that won't get corrected. Culverts. Um, I know we. Bought a lot of culverts because of FEMA. Again, some of that will be reimbursed, I guess, and some, well, but we're also trying to mitigate the roads for the REIs. But $7,500 we put down, that was up to 1500 hours um, from the previous year. Retreatment, putting in $45,000. Do we have anything in there now? Which could I'd have to look it up and compare. Um, look at the uh, what's left over, what's being carried, you're saying. Yeah. I don't know. Well, yeah. 45. Bridge maintenance, that's for washing the bridges uh -huh. and such. Uh, 3,000. Highway equipment rental, we put in 16,000. Um, if we purchase, which is also on our list of things to do, that might be, if we don't need to rent, that could be used in Purpose a deposit or something on the right. lines. Okay. Parker Road Grants, we don't need have anything on there because that's not necessarily part of it. Uh grant expenses for better back roads, we have four thousand. Nothing for bank fees and bond principal and interest we have written down. And the new item, small tools and equipment. Okay, so we have a couple of changes on that page. So, uh, one more page. Right. Okay. Um, I thought I was going to be able to get it done today, but it's just been like a very busy typing week. Um, my recommendation for appropriations breakout is appropriations, which have been consistent from one year to the next, will be placed in a warning article. Five or six that are the same have not changed. They can be voted on in one month. I would suggest that any appropriations that are thousand dollars or more requests for a thousand dollars or more have their own separate warrant article. And we did have a couple of new appropriations come in again, even today. Separate. So I just wanted to. What was our cutoff? October thirty something. Oh gee. Obviously, it's going to be um, Okay. So, but we're going to let the voters decide. Let the voters decide. Exactly. Yeah. Our appropriations, we said it's, uh, we to have the deadline supposed to be the 31st. Um, we did get a couple new ones, including Newburgh Elementary uh, School. We got uh, PTO. Parent teachers, yeah. teachers organization investing for $500. Holy Lord. Um, well, it had, 
Yeah. You're on you're on the right way, I think. Just make it separate. Let the let the voters vote on it. Yeah. They're any, gonna see the, they're gonna see the numbers on the whole budget. They're gonna see what it looks everything looks like. And if they want to keep spending money, let them have it. I don't know if I'm voting for it, but as much as I like new brokerage, that's a lot of money. Another appropriation anyway. Another appropriation, okay. I hear you. The request that came in was from the group that put together the New Brook newsletter that came out four times a year. Like um, they like asked that. for a thousand dollar appropriation to help cover at least the postage and production of one of the uh, one of the uh, mailings so based upon a population, and they are going to continue to try to get support from. Uh, advertisers and private donors, but they're asking Brookline for an appropriation for a thousand dollars. Again, well, like my question dollars. is: Is this board okay? Even though they're late, nothing after today, nothing after today, no, nothing. Come on, uh, right. but putting in even the late ones at this time under those, it's new. If it's a thousand dollars or more, and if uh, and if it's an increase that they would have, uh, I agree. Separate lines. Well, it puts it in their hands, and that's what we like, that's right? right? That's right. It's really we're three votes. There's uh, five hundred others out there. So if they want it, they want to raise their taxes. They want to spend a thousand dollars on that magazine. I like that magazine. Not for a thousand bucks a year. All right, so just very quickly looking at the Groundworks That's Collaborative, right, yeah. I haven't had anything from them. Women's Freedom Center, at this time I've had nothing from them. Visiting Nurse you see, Youth Services you see. I did not get anything from Valley Cares. Again, I did not get anything from Red Cross. Really? No. So we're already a thousand. Well, I'm surprised. Two thousand. Um, Valley Cares is eight hundred. Not well, I, I went and even Googled my met my mail to see if it's like they sent it to me by mistake, but no. Um going Great. down what uh just to check we're on the same page. Uh would I say there was consensus in favor of the recommendations that you made? The recommendations to break down the appropriations based yeah, upon right. yeah. You want me to repeat myself? No, no, I think you had a consensus on those recommendations. Yes, it's yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Good, All right. Mm -hmm. Here we're going to miss you. You're great. Yes. So yeah. are we, uh, are, what, are, what letter are we at right now? Um, what letter? That would have been C, review, discuss, appropriation list. Oh, on the agenda. Oh, yeah. it's on the agenda. Oh, good point. We're almost finished with the. Uh, we're almost finished with the budget. Well, um, we're down here. Okay. C. We are in C four. C four. Yeah. Grouped yeah. yeah. appropriations have not changed. Individual articles. Individual articles for a thousand or more. Late appropriation requests. That's what I just asked about. And uh, today is the dead dead drop dead dead date. And and just consensus you, was on the. Uh, was on the non-binding question. I didn't get there yet. Oh, okay, good. Rural fire protection. I got a request in the mail again for their one hundred dollars. The current, I got nothing from them. Water, uh, watershed alliance. I got nothing from them. Wow. Mm -hmm. And I got nothing from the Vermont Association for the Blind. Leland and Grace yeah. came in at two fifty. Seven and that's that. And the PTO five hundred and New Fane and New one thousand. So oh, he yeah, has yeah. to update this the appropriations. So Southern Vermont Writing Therapy is a no. I mean, they didn't request. They didn't get one yeah. last year. Was okay. voted didn't pass. Yeah, and, and they didn't request anything this year. Okay. 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 That's right. The last item that Peter was referring to is I have a non-binding question about future appropriation requests. At the meeting on Monday night with the Brookline Meeting House, they are working on a survey that they would that. like to have 
sent out and also available at the town meeting. And the, they had a question of, they wanted to know, they wanted, I, I said, if we, if we pull a non-binding, uh, non-binding question, sure. if you wanted to put it in the, the book or you could raise it from the floor. And that is, would the town consider next year appropriating tax money towards the building if requested? And so I said, you know, I just bring it. Hmm. Not a binding question about sure. it. Sure. Yes. Why? They wanted to know. They wanted to know. They see all these appropriation re requests, ten to fifteen thousand dollars from all over the place. They wanted to know if the community would also support a appropriation for their building. I understand what you're saying. And no or an activity the for that because they are planning on some activities, but they were. So we need to slow down a little bit. Mm -hmm. No one supports that building more than Bruce Mellon. They're not asking and, for money. They're just asking, can they ask if that would be oh, something okay. that the residents would like, who would consider next year if they put it on? Please be aware, they okay. want people to be aware that they may be asking for an appropriation. They don't have to put it in. Ah, they don't have to put it in. They can bring it up in discussion. I think, they should, I think the town people should be asked. You know? Well, I mean, the probability anyone can guess. You know? But I think it, it, it gives us as a board guidance on just what the feelings of the town are. And I think that rather than me trying to have a crystal ball and read 520 lines, uh, or those yeah. that are able to vote, whatever that number is, 60. it it would seem to 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 know. I mean, hopefully, when our budget gets settled more significantly, we get the FEMA money and things kind of get back to so-called normal. Whether people would be interested in doing that? I mean, you've been on the committee. I've been on the committee. Dot's on the committee. Really it can get pretty darn frustrating and and demoralizing. To move at the slow pace that we were working at, oh. because we weren't going to this town and asking for money. Well, so I think it that kind of makes a good sure. referendum of sorts as to the the viability of the project in terms of the people's eyes. And if there are questions, you know, maybe we can reference to you know, speak to them after the fact. But mm -hmm. go shoot, got shoot from you, got now, Mister and Mrs. Citizen. Well, it's just hard to ask to ask for people's opinions are that's for sure. For instance, one of the things we talked about is like, well, well, we have to fix the bathroom and make it ADA. Is that something we would fundraise for? Is that something that might come from a, a revenue or grant? They don't, they're not sure, but if they, sure. you know, it may sure. come from grants, but oh, that yes. was just one of the things. We um, you know, that may be the given the income we're getting, the income we're getting from the daycare center that maybe we could, you know, if we get a feel that. People are sort of interested, but if it doesn't affect your taxes, we, you know, the, the follow up consideration of the future board would be well, all right, we're going to have 20 some odd from the school. Can we dedicate 10,000 to do the bathroom this year? So the taxes are not increased, which is the E, I think. And at the same time, the town getting something that hopefully at some point it will be able to use. use. So if we take a look at, I, I think that maybe they weren't, we weren't. That tight on it, but our capital improvement fund should be financed some uh, consistently, but maybe not with tax money, mm -hmm. but maybe with tax money. I don't know. Yeah. So that's just something that they may bring up at the next meeting. They're meeting again in January on the 9th. And, and a, an issue that Dot has mentioned in the past, and I, I'm sure you probably remember as well, uh, she's kept her eyes open. And what we what Dot has brought up from time to time is the fact that some towns not only have a 10% rainy day fund, but they set aside uh, a 10% for emergencies that go wrong within the town infrastructure. Uh, so, you know, those two things are viewed as possibilities and in, in some towns, a normal event, whereas this, we, given the smallness of us, we never even thought of doing that. Right. You know, so but, was the first one that, that inkling came up. Yeah. About a small rainy day fund, five thousand dollars, which leads me to doubt what you've already told me about is there's only ten thousand dollars in that rainy day fund. 
Well, it's because it. every quarter of tax oh, taxes that's right. That's is right. It, she, you know, that's right. That's you right. have to right. collect the taxes before right. you put it in there. And I think I saw in a reformer this past week where uh, Brattleboro puts a certain number of money, a certain dollar amount aside every year for okay. capital improvements. And then they were quoted in the paper as saying that they paid for half of the repair to the bridge over Interstate 91 that blew up a week or two or three ago mm -hmm. with money from that rainy day source. So for pipe breaks at the school or pipe breaks at the Brown office Brown. here, the power goes down, whatever. Center. You know, there's a- there's, It's self-funded. It's, it's, it's school is self-funded. Yes, yeah. yes. Keep that out of, so I'm just saying, good idea to keep that. We, we, we need to, in my opinion, keep Susie's self-sustaining. With the kind of money that we get out of that every month, we should be able to self, especially at this point in time, we should be able to self-sustain any maintenance that occurs on well, our building. It's been 100% self-sustained the whole time, but we're right. hoping that the cost will be quite a bit left. Exactly. So from what you're exactly. saying, are you saying don't touch it or self-sustaining no. in the sense that a reserve amount is available out of the income coming in? And the rest of it can be used for other things. Yeah. Yes, I think. Yeah, so. I think we're, not gonna look, we're not going to look. We're all on the same thing. We're not going to slap straight. Sam, we're not going to have thirty thousand dollars sitting there. Say, hey, look at that. Yeah. You know, we need to. We need to use that money for the town. And I think this is very. It's educating for us all. And as we get better at it, and as we move forward, I feel we more, we're much more informed. But I do want to move along. Yes, we do. Because we're learning. I need. Um, so we finished up okay. ABC and now uh, discuss the wording for changing the treasurer from an elected to an okay. appointed position. It may take a little bit of time. I went on to the VLTC. Yes. They have suggestions on it. Um, I would I, I would say that when we come back from Jan, when I get back in January, uh, I won't be able to do it before the January 4th meeting, but before the January, what is our timeline for the Good report? Morning. Uh, I need to, I need to ask, uh, um, I need to do two things. I need to ask David, and the other thing I need to do, even before I speak with David, is look at the statutory limitations and timelines. Okay, because we got one in it, they, right. they mesh together. Right. That's right. right. That's right. And I remember last year, okay. you know, there were mentions of that, and because it wasn't my task to do that, I just had general dates in mind because I knew we needed to be Somewhere, 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 somewhere by certain times, yeah. but but now that I'm in the middle of it, I I, I can look that up. Uh, and before uh, next by this time next week, I will have all that worked out. Well, um, what I was going to suggest, if you I'm sorry, is that I work with I can work with Stan as we develop the warning items that go into the town report, which would include the warning suggested by the. Uh, VLCT. I didn't want to rehash it all now because it's nine pages Good. of suggestions and uh, there are model articles and guidance from VLC, Vermont League of Cities and Towns. But I'm trusting so I'm gonna... D and e that if you make it up a certain way, Don, I'm happy with it. I mean, we you know that what we want to do, you know you know better than anybody else how to word out an administrative system. You know Change it. It's very simple. Changing the, the request from uh, from the treasurer to elected to an appointed position. It's just stated. Um, so I guess what I'm saying is, for D and E, I trust them. Whatever you do, but I don't think. Okay, it. so that's uh, that's where I'm at. Things that will you, you will be presented. The select board will be presented with the final thing, and you can stand on. Yeah, I'm just. This is not to affirmatively. Take a vote. This is not to take a vote to say the town, yes, hire one or don't hire one. This is introducing the concept. Okay. Yep. Oh. See, so, yeah, I'm just making sure that everybody's on the same page. Oh. For, wait, discuss the administrative system position and wording. You're just you're asking a non-binding referendum question. No. I don't know. What does this mean? No, no. Oh, I was just finishing up number D. Yeah, what oh, oh, that should okay. Be. So we're not on E. We yet. gotta be. I on that. If we don't get an administrative assistant, I can't. Can, I, no, you can't. But let's go back to D for a second. Let's go back to D for a second. D, okay. We need to just lay it out there. We need to vote on changing the position from elected to appointed. We get any crap about it, I'm the first one who wants to stand up and talk about it. As far as the administrative assistant, it's the same issue. If you don't get some help, 
I know where I'm a happy camper. I would not be a happy camper because this is getting ridiculous. What you two people have done in the last two, three, four months, I've been freaking phenomenal. Well, I got to speak my piece here and then I'll cut it out because I'm the one who wants to go home. <laughs> I guess what I'm saying is thank you. I wish I could have helped more. You're welcome. I really am appreciative of the amount of work. I'm looking at the work that you, you guys do, and I just, it blows me away. So, I, again, thank you. But as, but as far as these two explanations, we need to lay it right out to the public. I, I, I think we're there. there. I think we're okay. willing to do that. I, okay. the, the question really is we had a hard time finding somebody to fill the position because it was not a resident. And it puts Correct. the board in an awkward position Correct. where if we have it as an appointed position, Somebody leaves, we hold a vote and take a vote on the applications we get, and it's done and over. Mm -hmm. That's yep. so simple, so easy. Yep. Why wouldn't the town want that to happen? Right. And Particularly they, when no one has stepped up to take the vote. Right. And if they do bitch, I'm right there, complain. <laughs> so that we should be done with D. I so so yep. D is good. I agree. Okay. okay. E is in position and wording. It's a part time. We don't really understand completely. I'm willing to table this again. I don't know. But. Um, well, when are we going to next meet? After the first of the year. We, we have a meeting on the fourth. And no one's can meet before that. On the third. I'm coming back the okay. second. Okay. Coming back the weekend. Okay. Okay. This is. Well, it's not that big of a deal for the I think, I think whether or not we put it on the fourth agenda is going to be dependent upon when. The statutory and yeah. printing right. people tell us it's got to be done. We can come with a, we can develop a war, an article for the warning that says, shall the town hire a part time administrative assistant? Do we for have to do that? No, we don't. We can just hire. Then why do we keep going with it? It's not like D. Well, we were, we're really changing uh, the uh, the law in the town, which is uh, you elect. Yeah, you, you elect, have to, they have to vote. They have to do that. They have but, to vote. I wouldn't even mention you. I would. The only way I'd mention you is I get up there in, in the middle of the town meeting and say, "Well, we got problems. We need help. We we're willing to pay. We you, are you willing to work?" I, I'm being cold about it, but you get my point. You know what? I'm gonna. I'm gonna research, double check if it needs to be warned. Or I, I I agree with that that approach. Okay. We had to find out rather than be embarrassed today. Uh, okay. Find out we should. Yeah, or not. And then we're that's all out. Thing. Okay. We're gonna move on. After we okay. discuss the salary yeah. rates. Um. Next one is <laughs> purchasing <laughs> vehicles. Um. We do have a lot of information that came in. Of course, from the Vermont, I mean, you all get the same stuff that Guy, you get in the mail and then Guy forwards it to us again. Bond bank loan information, that's due if we were going to use that for purchasing equipment. What is that about? I saw one bond bank and I went to click in to see what the application was and it wouldn't come up. Bond bank is what we did for the, for the bridge. Yes. Okay. And then we've been getting the, the new... The yeah. new amounts, ten thousand to four four hundred thousand from two to eight years, no penalty, free payment, zero to one percent. Listen, what's the Are those, is that the, the, the note they sent around okay. saying that they do small loans? Applications are due no later than Monday, December sixteenth. Right, and when I I was like twelfth or thirteenth, I I tried to punch up the the application wouldn't come up. That was all. Okay. I, I don't know if I got a copy of that. You did. Well, it was something to me. All right. Oh, you got it. Yeah. You got it. I just didn't perceive it as something that we were going to utilize. I don't know what we're going to utilize. Okay, well, we can forget that one particularly. Okay. But how to how to purchase equipment and vehicles. Should we uh, set a create a committee on this board to research that? <laughs> don't start that. You get smacked. <laughs> I don't even start that. I could name a couple of names. No, I'm not going to. I think we should, unless we're, we're serious about doing this one, the other, we have to table it until. This should sometime. be part of the ARPA discussion as far as I'm concerned. I believe that we can, with yeah. proper analysis and professional help, be able to leverage 
as you had said at another point, some of the ARPA money mm -hmm. and then uh, contract services you know, that are scheduled that it contract even services. You right. could possibly get something going and lease to purchase but any of that. Is, I, would, go, I would like to. I'm sorry. This I, right. this I, go, I, that's all right. I'll go ahead. Go ahead. This is all a part of the ARPA discussion. And I'll put it. No, 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 no. We got to do the budget. We got to do plan for a town meeting. But maybe towards the end of January or February, we can we can work this out. All I kind of wanted from you guys, and you were way too busy to entertain this. You've already done it. Well, we made the wish list. And Stan, I, you know, whenever you get some time, add some whatever you think that we should get out of the ARPA money and the studio's money. And then we put it all on the table in the January 1st of uh, February, once we're done with all this and figure this all out. But as far as purchasing equipment and vehicles, this is not a big deal. If you split it apart, you got a truck on one hand and a wheeled excavator on the other hand. The wheeled excavator can be purchased 100% or it can be done with a down payment, either out of our money, or we can figure out with the payment that we're paying, whether it's going to come out of the road, uh, the road uh, services, uh, what do you call it? The uh, money that we pay yeah, rent right. we have to So that kind of has to be worked out. Now, as far as the truck, if I can finish, as far as a regular truck, we should get this man a good truck. We've, we have had a lot of discussions, Mark and I, about 15, 17, 18,000 dollars, whatever it is. We can either take that right out of the upper money or we could make a deposit from the upper money and finance it. But that all is in conjunction. Well, no, we need to it, talk it, no, to no, 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 it's me. Well, you're not getting one of my point. I'm saying everything that we should have on a widget should be sitting out in front of you and work it out in the confines of the amount of money that you got coming in. That's simple. It's and you use simple, it, but it's not simple. Well, it is. In the reality, of the market, we, we haven't even sat down with the department totals that are out there. So $102,000. Well, I, the dollar amounts, no, but the what we're going to spend. It. That's right. I put That's a number right. of issues out there. I've not heard any word from anybody about what? That. I think mm -hmm. you had to do this, whatever, that, that I sent around to the UK yeah. Committee. No, you haven't. I haven't got anything. Yes, you have. A while ago. Yes, you have. It was a while ago. ARPA requests? No. A, a list of ARPA responsibilities that we have. The potential for use of money. She sent it to Leanne. That was the same one. That was the same one. Oh, that long one. Oh, yeah. That I saw yeah, well, I can so, read it. Yeah. But I see any and there's no certain requirements on how much and what a town could spend money on that needs to go to the town before it happens. Now the, the one exception was to the special fund that we were reminded by the town clerk, and it's true because we researched it before. We didn't need to ask anybody, we could just simply right. do it. But we're not talking about doing that right now. We're talking about maybe using our money. So there may be still a liability or the necessity of advising the people and or getting their their opinion or approval. I don't think so. Not on the wheeled excavator. But, but again, it's one of those questions we had before. Well, maybe we don't, maybe we do. We need to, well, we we do. We we need to ascertain. Let's go later. It's it's been brought up every time before. I will reread what you, what you had sent. It was quite a while back. And Two months. Yeah, something like that. And then we'll go from there. In the meantime, let's, okay. let's keep going. So I, the reason I keep putting here is I don't want to not to. I, but yeah, we have a $16,000 rental fee that could be used if we're purchasing. Okay. So the Scott's Building Commissioner stipend, we did that. We did the grant supervisor stipend. Yep. Um, the audit by the outside agency. Um, okay. Melissa, I asked Melissa directly if she felt that as an incoming, soon to be appointed, Treasurer, she's so interested, and we changed the, the law. Uh, what? Sorry, she said she's interested. Yeah. What um, would she require? Would she would she require the town to have a, an outside audit? And she concurred with the gentleman that she's worked with, who felt that Frank Rucker and his auditors are excellent, and she feels the town can save money. And not do an outside audit. Did you get that Ooh. email? I did, and I responded to her, and she responded back. I said to her, "I know that in the past you have at one point expressed the desire or the preference to possibly have a professional right. audit done." And I sent. I then added, "I'm assuming, based on your recent response earlier today, that you, being in the job as long as you are, see nothing odd or unusual." 
that you're comfortable with what you've seen given the time on the job and that therefore uh, you are basically advising us that you don't need to go out and get a formal uh, uh, audit. And she and basically that's what she did speak with Heidi Nystrom. They are going to be working over the holiday getting I told together. That. I told and, that. and and Heidi said that our books are always have been very, very clean. So uh it's going to be very different. And we have one in that order. No, that was for reappraisal. Okay. So uh, as far as the audit goes, at this time, we are not going to do an audit Sorry. by outside agency uh, for that. All right. Um, I'm going to quickly move on to old business, code okay. and code of service contract. What did you want to say about that? This is the uh, uh, gas boiler contract due date. Um, what, what You requested that we review the Something yeah, I was not happy with them um, after spending eleven thousand dollars, and I couldn't even get them to come and service the damn thing. And then I find out today through the AP warrant, I had asked Hiram to come over. I am not going to come over to take a look at the pneumonia hole, which he did, did a great job. And then there's this extra charge for servicing the boilers, and the boilers weren't service. So all kinds of weird things come out of the Um I actually ended up calling, um, calling, um, yeah. his name was coming off the guy that, no, the guy that runs, the, the, that farms out all the people, I called him, called him. Mm -hmm. and um, we talked for a few minutes, I was trying to get him to come over and service the boiler. Mm -hmm. Never happened. But anyway, what does that got to do with this? I don't see as well we've been getting anything out of, out of that contract, but Dot seems to feel that it's, it's cheap money in terms of, Protection. So, um, you know, I'm ready to go for it, but you mean you pay the four hundred forty dollars? Is it? Is there was there a recent bill for that contract? I just got it. Oh, okay. This is this the public care heating service. That's um. Okay. This is excuse me. This is the town of Brookline Susie's Peanut Service account. Right. Total care system four hundred forty five dollar. Um, okay. So. And seeing as we're not doing much service to the damn thing now, thank God. Um, Did you want me to write a letter? Do you want me to do a cover question to them? What, what do you want me to do? Because I need to know so that I can. Uh, no, I think it's either pay the bill or then. Yeah, you're a waste of time from, from, what I, from what I see. From okay. I issue you really well with, I'm not going to get into it, but I just went through the sandry. Uh, okay. They're just very independent. They do whatever the hell they please. So we either pay the bill or we don't, and hopefully we get some response back out of it. Um, it's up to you folks. I'm not excited about it at all. Well, do we need to take a vote on approving it or not? Like we did the contract to save the guests the, the lock in? Or is this just. Why we already agreed to them having them on an annual basis, having what them you don't have have in Dakota because they do commercial building. Why don't we keep it for this year? Do it. And if we're, conti if, uh, if we're continually not happy with the performance, we can we can address that. Um, I think that's probably the best way. Well, I, I don't recall if it's in this particular account payable, is it? Uh, is it? No, uh, I don't think so. So it's monthly we pay. So there you go. I did tell eleven thirty. Did say the whole word. I don't believe it. It's not in this AP. There's something in the code employee. You have two of them. That's um, the two I was well, talking. Yeah, the two word name and stuff. No, that that contract is not in. No. All right. So this is okay. To, so all right. Okay. With that. So last, we'll see how it goes. You know. All right. We'll give him a little slack here. Um, I thought uh, one big positive is I got Hiram Nat. He's just great. So, but whatever, we'll see what happens down the road. We'll do it from this next year and see what we get out of it. Okay. But this year we'll be doing the servicing on summer. Okay. All right. Now to continue on old business, we aided the health department. Last week or last month, I gave you, or last meeting, Stan, I gave you a copy of the water system tests that were reported for 74. 74 Merrill Drive? Yes. 74 yes. Merrill Drive. Uh, it showed that there was no contaminants. That was a requirement. That was a suggested part of the health inspection of that rental building. And 
I put it with my file and uh, I'll end up bringing it down I here. I bet it would be here somewhere. Yeah, I didn't bring my, I, I didn't touch Just, it. I gotta put my hands on it. But anyway, the issue was to look at it and analyze it. I think the uh, inspection that we did indicated that uh, ideally we should have one for uh, other contaminants other than coliform. You know that. However, it's not required. If it's not required, then I'll stop. Yeah, it's not required. It's a recommendation that they should be done uh, every so often. And I forget if it's once a year or once every five There it is. I don't know if I, I want you to eat I mean, that. In the or health report, it's fine. I mean, but I'm um, we'll saying in. in our health, that report that you were able to type up for us, it does say. Um, so she's in compliance. She's compliant. That's what it is. Okay. Yeah. So, so being this is the Board of Health, where the, the case is closed. The case is closed. And she kind of, she's not being already. Department. All right, new business very quickly. Just I told you that the Vermont Count Advisory Council on Historic Preservation and the Vermont Division for Historic Preservation has awarded the State Historic Preservation Grant Funds in the amount of up to $15,000 to partially fund the historic preservation project. The Town of Brooklyn pledged to match the grant of $15,000 by applying ARPA funds to the approved project. At this point, a vendor contract packet between the town of Brookline with the accepted bid of Carrie Warren for the work will need to be pulled together. Um, this is a part of the budgeting of that money that we're going to have to get straightened out before March. And he's not going to be doing this work until April. So we have to, we don't know if it's going to happen with the board. First week of March, you know. I'm so, not sure what you're saying, though. What I'm saying is, we're promising $15,000, which is good, but um, we need to make sure that we got our ARPA funds designated. Oh, yes, yes. Before March, so that we don't have to worry about it. But, yeah. Because he's, he's going to be working on that, I would imagine, April. Okay. I think. I'm sure he'll be anxious to do it because he wasn't building so much. Anyway, I don't know if I made much of a point there, but. So just that was for information. The next mm -hmm. item on here under new business was the is the timer for the clocks. And Stan, I don't mind reaching out to Leanne. You're thinking that the lights are on too long. Well, no, it's so not right. like it's not like <laughs> the battery. I, it, it, I don't know what's how it's done. Whether it's solar or what, if it's solar, then it makes no difference. Right. I'm not aware that it is or it isn't. It's so, so, but if it's off the grid, then if, I would suggest that they. Wash it at 8 30, 9 o'clock in the evening and make sure that it doesn't yeah. start until 4 30 the next day. Mm -hmm. On at 4 30. If there's a spotlight Fine. and there are battery operated candles and there is one rope of LED colored lights, but you're asking probably the spotlight is. Well, what in. I'm seeing are two large lights. There's two lights that are uh, spotlights, spotlights on the ridge of the, the front where it goes like this, uh -huh. the, the, the fascia of the of the front roof. And there's also a light that shines okay. up at the sign. That's if solar. Standing, that's what? That's solar. Okay. The one that's up at the sign. Right. So what I'm seeing at 5.30 in the morning and at 10.30, quarter 11 at night are three lights, large lights that are lit. I know nothing about them other than it seems to me at those hours, their being on uh, is inappropriate. Okay, I will take with them now. Okay. I would imagine that if it's costing the citizens money, then, you know, others would probably feel the same way. Okay, I know it's just for the holidays, but. Um, well, it, yeah, but it's, you know, I've already seen it on for at least a week. Okay. And I who knows when it's going to go up. Okay. Uh, summaries and updates, uh, Mark. I, I shared this with you, and, and um, again, the GPS coordinates are needed for the 15-inch culverts, which should be upsized to 18 inches for the FEMA mitigation. Um, I have the two longitude and latitudes listed in my minutes. I'll give you a copy of it. And that is the area of damage. What we have to do between Bennett Road and Banning Road is identify the area of the damage and then pinpoint the culvert that needs to be upsized that caused 
or attributed to the damage and get the culvert's GP number. And Duck Window Regional should be able to give us the GPS for that. So I can't do it this week, but yeah, oh. whenever you're available. Okay. But that, that those are the uh, numbers that FEMA had given me. So just wanted to let that report know that, that mm -hmm. other than that, that's the only homework I have for the winter from FEMA. <laughs> Good. Congratulations and good for you. Yeah, yes. really. Okay. okay. Uh, quickly going on before I let you go, Mark. It's also the FEMA did include that second thirty-six inch culvert because it, it attributed to the other washouts. Yeah. And so, yeah. um, even though, so they were they were fine with that. Um, yeah. And Mark Pickering also was online, and he 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 concurred that even though culverts the other two that we, we want them all done. Yeah. We're not trying to be picky yeah. about that. Yeah. We'll do the best we can. And we now and we got written confirmation, which I'll. Get to everybody that the we have till December thirty first, twenty twenty three to finish. Thank you. Okay, Mark. Briefly, do you have as things you want to share with us? Yeah, I just since our last meeting, I we had the storm uh, and got a phone call from the road crew uh, stating that there was uh, multiple trees down in the roads and debris. Uh, so I. Without kind of during and after the storm, uh, cutting up trees, removing you know, down roads so that plowing could continue. Uh, some areas, the trees were across power lines, couldn't be touched until the power company did their thing. So, continued after power company had uh, reconnected power and lowered the tree up from under the, the wires. Um, I also had some greater maintenance and had the grader out. And in one section, I had asked Archie Clark to work with me. Um, some tree debris that was cut up by the power company had rolled into the brook and knowing that that Hard rains come and we clean the brook out so it wouldn't clog the culverts. Uh, and the only other thing I can report is that I worked to expand something to it. I tried to do some upgrading of the uh, road erosion inventory segments. Excellent. All right, thanks. Yep. All right. Stanley, MRPG, your favorite thing? Yeah, I want to thank Mark. He was fantastic. We were working on stuff the other day. We ran into a point where, for some reason, it wasn't clear on some of the stuff they sent out. It didn't say anywhere that they stopped using the RE Ron report. It just didn't. What they did say was you can access it through the new thing. It's a reporter module. And... Uh, so I spent some time trying to work at. I queried REI and never sent me on to the new site. So in any event, after we we, we were here from nine to what two thirty, yeah, two fifteen, yeah. something like that, yeah. trying to go over it. We went through all of the sites that Mark has looked at that he could recall. A lot of them. A lot of work is done. It appears that we have a lot of sites that are deemed as not complying that are not meeting standards. And and in fact. Because of the, the new exemption program they have, excuse me, uh, it looks like we're gonna we, we're gonna have a, a number of roads that are uh, in fact gonna be in compliance because of the fact that to do what would be in compliance with road standards, you'd have to move somebody's stone road, some fence, or have wow. ledge removed, uh, or there being ledge where. Uh, you can't comply with the berm requirements or whatever. So there are things that simply just cannot be done. Exempt from the program. Yeah, the conditions on the site do not allow the compliance with the state standards. So Mark has this all in memory. It's amazing. It's very impressive. And we went through the, the whole list at pretty much, I think, Mark. Is, and uh, we've got a list in the segment numbers that we he's known and advised us of that we need to know that 
when, when it's appropriate to go in and make the changes, we can do it. Uh, I've, I've got that data all with me based on what Mark provided and, and the new uh, some of the new stuff that uh, I've downloaded. So we have, unfortunately, we cannot go in and make those changes now. Uh, there are going to give courses to the to, to, that are going to be available for Mark and anybody else in the town that wants to learn how to do this. Um, so we did not go out. We didn't have to. Uh, one of the things is it looks like on this new software, which is on my port on my cell phone, is you, you have to take a photo of the site. Mm. And, and a lot of the ditch work that was done in the stones are covered with snow right now. Mm. So, mm -hmm. uh, and so from here, I had emailed, and then before I came down, I emailed uh, mm -hmm. the guy ahead of it uh, in VTrans, and he said, they uh, we don't need to do it until, we don't need to have it done until April 1st, the revision, going in and making those changes. Uh, that was a report that's supposed to be done for the 31st of December of this year. Well, the, because they are implementing the new process, they deferred that, that to, to okay. April 1st. And I'll they're going to have a class, the class says, between the first of the year and, and that time frame. We okay. teach people how to use it and how to do it so that you can become self-sufficient. Because it's the town now, Mark or the road commissioner or whoever else, uh, to certify that it's done. The Wyndham Regional is no longer going to do that. And as I mentioned to Mark when I came in, that Mark had made reference to a lot of the work that he had done already. And when before he and I met yesterday, uh, I had gone in on the old old uh, mapping and, uh, and REI data and looked at the ratings that it had in the last time it had been upgraded by somebody. Upgraded not only in the sense of the town having done the work, but somebody, either Winter Regional or the town, having upgraded the data list or database so that when you go down the list, you can see the current dates. Because they're asking us to update it by the end of the year, now March, April 1st, but it's it's not going to be done the way it had been done. And it's going to be done the new way. And it's automated. You go down through a list, you fill in everything, you take a photo, and, and et cetera, and, and that updates it. But then after all Sorry, the rain, I'm not able to help with this one yet. There he is, there she is, Alexa. So, so what happens is there is a way, after all the changes have been made, but you can take that new database and upload it in that status at that moment to uh, uh, AOT. It's kind of like filling out the uh, FEMA. Oh, uh, the portal. It's a portal. You be, you're lost in the portal. They're very scary. I got you. No, it doesn't make them feel good. Though. No. And, yeah, and yeah. Really, that's what they call it. You're lost in the portal. And uh, oh, it's also so there's deadlines for certain percentages of family. Yeah. And I'm yeah. pretty sure we're... We're in compliance for that. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, there's like 328 feet, two sides or 600 and whatever square feet. Or so when you're designating whether it, it meets, partially meets, or doesn't meet, certain percentages of the total of that 600 so much oh, have to be met, along with some other new things. So it's a learning experience. But I think we're we're on our way to understand it. Excellent. And for the classes, I'd be curious to sit in on much. Yeah, the right size down is deep where it's in shape as far as being in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, the mark gave me everything that he's done. I think he and, and Archie have done a good job of keeping the town in good, good standard. Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. the next thing is Sanders Salt Shed. Status there is we're waiting for two things. We're waiting for the Secretary of AOT to tell us if we're going to have a penalty or not. It's really not a penalty. They they apparently have utilized their internal staff at AOT in the various departments to process that initial grant in terms of does it qualify with watershed requirements, et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera. And so they spent, they claimed $26,000, $27,000 to do that. That's what they want, reimbursed. But apparently there's some flexibility that they may not assess it's for all the expenses they incur. The other is the 10000 So sure. we're waiting on the secretary to tell us what we're going to incur there for expenses on the state side. And I need numbers from Melissa, which she's aware of. I've interfaced with her on email. We need to know if we've in fact paid the expenses that we paid, she's done a good job. She's given me a list and there's one expense that is the, not showing up. So I've asked her to uh, 
look at that. And then from the other side, we need to verify from our perspective, rather than just taking the state's word, that they in fact reimburse us for the expenses that we build them for. Because we're, they're saying, you owe us 10,000 plus dollars. Those are the expenses they reimburse the town. Well, if I'm doing my job adequately, I'm confirming that we got that ten thousand plus dollars before yes, we just sign the check. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, so we're in that phase of descending from our perspective in town, affirming what we paid and what we got back. And Melissa's working hard at that. She hasn't been able to do it yet because of all the other things that are going on, budgets in two towns, etc. Mm -hmm. But I would expect that before the end of the year, if not shortly after, we'll have the answers to that. Stan, I'd like to make a recommendation and based upon that conference we had on the phone with them when they were saying um, the reasoning behind us canceling the grant. Right. If I would like, and you're very good at this, to come up with a Brookline municipal statement that says the Brookline, the town of Brookline has withdrawn from this on this date because of the increased fees, the, the increased cost of living the, that is established through COVID, so on and so forth, because that is so that the next, any other select board members that come after us, if they get asked, have you ever refused a grant? You can, they'll say, yes, they refused the salt sand grant on this basis because of the extraordinary inflation that was coming and coming about. And I just think that if we had a good statement that it could be useful at some other select board if they ever and, had to. And you read the letter that I sent them initially where we withdrew from it? Yes. It has those things in it. So so I, then I mean was it, it a letter or an email? It was it was a email in proper format. I, I would like with, for with that a to heading, be... a date, uh, like it was a letter in fact, but it wasn't a town statement. Okay, but I just would like to make it as officious as possible so that it glaring in case any other select board runs into this and should not penalize the town because of the inflationary project costs. So this is something we're going to, and we voted on it at our select board meeting, yes. and the reasons are available there. Yes. Right. So that's the only thing I, I, I was thinking of, but I think you're right. I, you, you did cover all bases with your communications, and so that might be just sufficient. I just would staple it on the front page and don't refile it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else, Dan? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, Bruce? Other than uh, meeting my old friend Dave Celesco would help us rebuild that building, I have no yesterday okay. I'll make conversation. Very good. Anyway, thank him again. Okay. So I have nothing. All right. Uh, my report very quickly. We already touched on the bond loan. I put that there because it came in the mail and if we're not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, we did touch base about uh, changing the email and website domain planning. That's for the future um, to be determined. It's on my radar. Too busy right now. My third thing here, it says power emergency. We were very lucky in town that only half the town was out for less than two days. However, seeing what happened in Wardsboro and other places in New Fane, if we do in fact have another emergency where I know Newbrook opened up for warming shelters and such, we may just, just we may need to be in contact. I'm going out of state, you know, we might call it, you know, to fix if the tree fell on the, you know, but we may have to come in and open up and start the generator and have us this room ready if the town needs it at some point. But uh, I just wanted to make that note. Uh, other than that, auditors will work over the winter break. Any other reports or discussions by select board members at this time? I do have in front of me the Historic Preservation Award result notification. I'm going to take it home and do a little bit more reading at on unless anybody else wants to look at it first. Mm -hmm. okay. um, I, love money. I think it has to get sent in. I love money. Okay, they have until 20, December 31st, 2024 to complete the project. Okay, and we think we are okay. Yeah, we're getting there. 
Melissa said something about not being sure about the payroll warrant numbers. She didn't have them and she will correct them. She did correct it and it's right. Okay. Uh, uh, All right. I am going to make a motion that we approve from uh, the payroll warrant 2325 dated December 21st, 2022 in the amount of $1,525.53. May I have a second? Second. Seconded by Mr. Mello. Any discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor of approving payroll warrant 2325 for $1,525.53 signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. I did ask about the stipends, and I don't see them here at the end of the year. I'm going to have to ask you again. Are you okay? I'm sorry? Are you okay? Yes. Are you Great. Uh, I did send Judy an email last, and she got sick. So, oh, yeah. so uh, that's something Melissa might not be uh, aware of. Okay. I am going to make a motion to approve accounts payable warrant 2326 in the amount let's see, 2326 and a table pen. Oh, yeah, uh, 2326 in the amount of $29,717.76. May I have a second? Second. Second to Minister Noga. Any discussion? Yes. Bruce. I am having a problem with this code and code invoice that I never, I got a copy of Hiram's labor, but there was nothing mentioned about Suzuki's eating service maintenance on the same day with an entirely different invoice number. Wasn't even close. All right, let me pull out the. Let me pull it out. There's something. Something I, I don't know. That's what, what I'm getting. The guy is always very good about. Well, you got it. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, where are we getting this? And I brought your glasses for you guys. <laughs> This is wrong. This isn't. Oh, these are the this same. Isn't, this isn't through the Dolphinas. She had six Dolphinas written down. Wait a minute. Something's not right here. 127 no, no. 12739. But the date here says, oh, well, that's the date they built it. Okay. Um, I'm sorry to hold things up because I want to go in anybody. This isn't making any sense to me at all. Um, what they do. What the hell? While you're looking at that, let me ask Stan to look at this. This is what accurate he was questioning. Yes. Okay. Oh, this is nice. Well, no, it's the same one. It's just a different, they must have sent another state. But that's the number. And I also emailed uh, uh, Melissa today <laughs> that that was the correct number and that it can be paid. So she's aware of it. Well, uh, and I believe it's here on the uh, payroll one. It's just I mean, not the accounts payable. Um, it is, if that's where I pulled it yeah, from in here, yeah. but I didn't answer my phone to her before the meeting. Well, I figured you were busy and I thought I'd help out slightly. Like, I hope you don't uh, feel, <laughs> get, feel uh, overshot or, or uh, interfered with, but it was just to save people time and work together and get things done and all the way. 
There's two bills here. One for Susie's Little Peanuts heating service maintenance at $127.39. And the second one is Susie's Little Peanuts air vent not closing for $110. I can answer it, I believe. The first one's inaccurate. Okay, this it's not it's not for service and maintenance. It's a net of all the bills that are previous and the total care was thrown in with it. Hmm. Well, I'm basically hurting myself if I could. Because in actuality, we should be charged Susan's little peanuts the 400 bucks. It says it right here. Uh -huh. Okay. But we were also, there was also a bunch of credit involved in there. You can take a look at it, Stan. So this no this, this designation of repairs and maintenance yeah, it's for 147 dollars is, is, is the net of what, boy, what this? Why uh, that's, this, this should have said, Repair, I should have said service contract 400 and whatever dollars. And there's a bunch of credits in there that were already paid or something yeah. that are mixed together. The whole thing is inaccurate. This one's correct. This one from Hiram. 110 is, is okay. It's accurate. But the other one's all screwed. Up. Okay. So the 127.39 is totally inaccurate. How should it be recorded? How should it be recorded? Oh, it, should be, it's, it should be split apart. That the 440 does give, the number. give me the number. Four. number one. $445 is the total care. Okay. That's what it should have been charged Susie's. And and that is a total care for that building or for the town building? No, the town there's, town. there's two. With the other one for the town building came up a couple of months earlier. There. Okay. So, so 45 total care for Susie's little peanuts. I think. Um, yeah, because it was open. Yes, because the other one's already been here. What do you got there? This is the Susie's little book. Okay, what's the date? Forty-five dollars. It's dated eleven thirty. Okay, valid. Okay. But this isn't what they did. Was they grouped all the town stuff in with Susie's little peanuts, which you're not supposed to do. I've had problems with them last year with this kind of stuff before too. It drove me crazy. But as you can see, there's LPG fuel in here. Yeah, and also, it's all fuel. Yeah. For the 445. yeah, and that has no business being in there. So that fuel was only for that building, or is it a mixture no. of town? No. No, 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 that, no, no, so yes. Okay. yes, 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 no. town of Brookline office. They this Susie's is entirely separate, right? Here, so they need to revise the you can see it right here, right? Yes, they need to revise it. It says town of, but here it is, right up here, Susie's Peanuts, not here. And all right, then, and this is all it comes to all. And they've made mistakes like this before. That that would crazy spring that. I spent an hour on the phone one time with them with all those bills that throw me off a tree. But I I got it straight. And anyway, yes, is the answer is that the one twenty seven thirty nine is not accurate. What should be done is the okay. I'm going to ask you to eat. What should be done to so, this treasurer? The I can photocopy you whatever you want, but I'm telling them we're gonna. Edit this accounts payable. Okay. We're not paying the one twenty seven thirty nine. They're going to have to rebuild. If you can give me a copy of this, I will explain the whole thing. Okay, be happy to. All right. So, anything right else? No, not me. Okay, I'd like to make a motion. Okay, so we are in discussion. We had a motion. I'd like to amend the motion to to uh, deduct. One hundred twenty-seven dollars and thirty-nine cents. Yes. From the bill, and I will. We will read. on. Let me get the math here. Minus Point three seven. Zero. 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 Z
All right, I'm going to uh, modify the motion that accounts payable number 2326 in the amount he paid for the amount of $29,590.37. The difference of $127.39 is due to the commingling of Susie's Little Peanuts service warranty, which is $445, and credits due to the town that should not have been commingled. Mr. Mello will communicate with the treasurer in a more clear fashion about his major concern. So thank you. May I have a second for the new motion? Bruce makes the second motion. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor in, in approving the amended 2326 warrant for $29,590.37. May I? Aye. Second. Second. All those approved? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. I'm passing some out. Who no, yeah, emailed me that? I don't yeah. think I could quite catch up because the okay. is pretty sketchy at this point. I may I go you. out altogether. Uh, well, well, just put it down. But I got that the amended motion was uh, a a vote to amend and to accept it. All right. Uh, I'm going to make pull it yeah. out. You make a copy of that bill. I'll but explain I have the whole thing. It's just no gun. All right. Um, um, I think we communicate had a communications. We got that done. The agenda for the next meeting at this time: budget, town warning, and articles for the meeting report. At this time, we can work on that. Yep. If there's anything else, we can communicate. If yep. not, I am going to make a motion to adjourn. Second. Okay. <laughs> the um, we don't actually need a second. I found out, but that's okay. Oh um, no way. The meeting is adjourned at 5.22 p.m.